All right, who has the uh, who has the Kanye West thing? Because we're moving on. Uh, we're moving on to Kanye West, who is is going absolute bananas on the timeline. S seven forty seven L. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Um, we're gonna talk about Kanye West, who went on uh, the Drink Champs podcast and said a bunch of insane shit. Now, the second trigger warning will be issued not for domestic abuse, but this time for Kanye West. Okay. Um, also, uh, while we are, you know, while we're going through this, uh, at the top of the hour, there's a six-second ad break. I'm just, you know, he's extra unhinged. It's still happening. What do you mean? But let's go. That's hey, you. Let's go, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to win in 2024. Hey, what Potentially because I can't say I'm running for office. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's, oh, it's premiering. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's still premiering. Okay, we're going to, we're going to watch the, the premiere of this now. There are three long parts. He's just going fucking crazy with it, but. Uh, I'm going to run the one minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5 or for free. We're going to look at the highlights and then, um, you can't rewind the premiere. Sadly. No, it's okay. It, it's okay. We'll, we'll watch it. I think FD was right. This is all him, baby. Oh, no, I, I think so, too. Um, anyway, here's the woman at break now. Diana Grown, thank you for the five. Get the subs. Um, okay, I'm not rewinding the premiere anyway. Let's just start here. I'm just here. Ooh. Hey, let's take my ball. Yo, that's it, bro. That's it, bro. That's it, bro, baby. Yo, all right, let's be clear. Yeah. Yo, this do say, do say also makes you have to use the bathroom every 20 minutes. Do say, do say. Hey, so this, so this is Salah. Salah, but let, 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 Salah. Let's, let's address the elephant in the building. Why are you wearing the Trump, um, the, excuse me. It's not the, Trump. Um, it's not no, Trump. The, um, the sub, Supreme Lives Matter. This is not Lives Matter. This is Tremaine. This is mm. Tremaine. This is, the, this is my boy that's at Supreme now. And the weird yeah. thing is, like, you he's know... He's a good guy. Why that's, he's good? a good guy. So you think about, like, Pete Davis. I gave him a, I gave him a, uh, a negative nickname, Ski Davis. Tremaine, Tremaine, Tremaine fucking skewered Tremaine, Kanye, by the way, context. even more powerful. I yayed him up. I gave him Tremendous, right? And then we went in. We appropriate. We did a reverse appropriation of everything Supreme. I got to pee. I'll and be back. studio with Ian Connor, right? And we went Supreme in. Supreme is the... You know, it's a yeah. skate brand. It's, a, it's the high school, right? You know what I'm saying? Yes, so yes. it's like we went in and flipped everything. This thing is so... The Tremendous movement is more... I don't want to call it a movement because you don't move nowhere. That's like the Tremendous idea is so much bigger than a, even the T-shirt, the other T-shirt I wore. Like, this is finna go crazy. People are... Love this. And they love because you got Duff, Charney... It's bigger than White Lives Matter. Well, White Lives Matter is very important for a couple of reasons. One reason is the the leftists and liberals have used the trauma of black culture to black out the white voice. And the America is still majority white, right? So they're using the trauma of black culture to black out the white voice. So there's Trump supporters who love the White Lives Matter t-shirt. Also it is White Lives Do Matter. Also is a black person wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt is appropriating and reverse appropriating. And we're not that smart. No, so but by the way, no, you story? guys are. <laughs> you guys, we are. We are. I just gave you three entendres to the reason why it was Double so needed. Double entendres. No, triple entendre. Quadruple triple entendre. <laughs> only, only right here with the platform that you gave me that I haven't even thought of it, right? Yeah. It's Fuck a triple entendre. Yeah. But then the Jewish media didn't like the group, the wrong think, as Candace Owens puts it, of the idea of a black man wearing White Lives Matter. So they sent all of the Biden and Paul and blah, 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 you know, at me to say, oh, you don't love black people if you say white lives matter. But guess what? My baby mama white and her life matters, Meek Mills. 
But you could understand the problem with my. I give a fuck about Kim more than any of y'all. My baby mama white, she white, and her life matter. Off the do say. Uh, On some real nigga shit. Who's so, guessing, who's but, guessing over here? <laughs> that's the weirdest part ever. No, no I love y'all. That's, that's I'm your, in y'all building. I don't mean to raise my voice in your building, but I, I'm, I'm up. I'm lit. I don't give a fuck. I'm lit. And like, <laughs> my baby mama white and her life matter. I did a fucking t-shirt, McMills. I did a t-shirt, McMills. I did t shirt 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 McMills. Something like that. No, by the way, I want it. Nigga, bring the Dracos, bring whatever guns y'all, whatever guns y'all motherfucking no, no, celebrate. No, okay, no, okay, 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 okay. No, we're not celebrating guns. We're, 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 we're not celebrating guns. Calm, 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 calm Young Rang Yem Q. Off this bitch. Is, but by the way, shut the fuck up about me. Nigga, like, nigga, let's end it now. Seven days. Any nigga got something to say, kill me in seven days or shut the fuck up or you ain't talking about shit. How mm. about that? On Drink Champs. Bum. <laughs> Bum. 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 Why? Dude, they're hyping this <laughs> up, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> Take the picture and we done. I love my brother. Yeah. And, 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 and by, I didn't mean to disrespect by raising my voice, bro. Nah, bro, no, come no, on, no, yo, yo, no, yeah. Take, 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 take yo, a shot. No, take no, a shot. No, hey. Take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. Take a yo, shot. yeah. We Gemini, bro. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Adi da. Adi da. We got the Adi da. We got the Adi da. <laughs> but but yeah, we love you. We want you to know that mm. this is your your house, mm. your platform. Mm. Sometimes we ain't gonna agree with you. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna let you speak. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters. Boy, I got shot. Bum, bum, bum. What up, what up, bum. So I mean, we know why they, they did right? that. Look. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> but, 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 real talk, real talk. We could be wrong and be right at the same time. Fuck we can, yes. No, no, listen, talk. Real talk. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold At this stage, I think it's just like varying degrees of exploitation, right? Like you have, you have fucking these guys who are friends with Kanye, but are clearly exploiting his mania for views. You have people like Candace Owens who are even worse because like they are the ones who are like literally fucking using any and every opportunity to spread a, a white supremacist message through Kanye West. And obviously, Kai West himself is, like, not a fucking baby. You know what I mean? He, he is, like, he has individual responsibility. Like, there is a point where, like, he's not a victim. You know what I mean? He's a grown-ass man. He's, like, 50 years old almost. Like, that's crazy. And he needs to, you know, he has, throughout many, many years, back when he was definitely better, um... He had uh, an opportunity not to push away everyone who wasn't sycophantic. And I do think, like, deep down inside, his narcissism is kicking in. Uh, and, and his interest in, like, wanting to sell his, whatever new thing is coming out. You know, another album. That's what's uh, that's what's guiding him to like dive further and further into his okay, mania. Quality was talking about because it's not positive. It's not backpack, right? But I, I I lean into my truth. I found that Playboy when I was five years old, and now I'm calling Irina Shake, and you know what I'm saying. So it's it was my truth. But by the time we got to stronger, work it harder, make it better, do it faster, make that's my only diamond record. Right? I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So. We're at the beginning of a new frontier, whether it's what Dr. Dre did. We can't base it on the narrative that they're making for us. We now have to define our own narrative. Right. Like, when you're talking about the White Lives Matter thing, I want to play you this message that Farrakhan sent me and Puffy about no, White Lives Matter. What? Go ahead. You know. Oh, my God. Man, gotta, oh, no. Man, this do say... You oh, no. never have to pee more times than uh -oh. I do say. I Yo, right Jay, now, I got to talk to you, man. The Hennessy that will make you have to pee this much, man. I mean, we got to up our shit, bro. We got to, like... I'm not uh -oh. even going to lie to you. <laughs> there has never been an instance where, like, Farrakhan sent me this video, let's take a look, and then that that led to, like, fruitful conversations. Always mad at them because that's what caused you 
After the Tucker Carlson. Wait, they cut it. <clears throat> it's black people called you and said, what's going on with you and Kanye? You know what I mean? Because, you know, Tucker Carlson is, uh, he's a y'all of y'all. He on, he on, on he's the side. Fox, he's y'all on, he on Bro, on they the got side. more fucked up we than Kanye. What is y'all. happening? So did you get, like, any calls? I mean, I'm getting calls at all times, but yeah, I feel what you're saying because Tucker Carlson did the interview. And I, I just feel like there was people in the group and shit, and the whole interview was just more like on some like a conversation about mental health. And it's hard for like. Is it what, a conversation about mental health? Is that real? I just think that people don't know how to understand what they're dealing with now. They've always saw black people that were an athlete that would follow their contract, a rapper that would follow their contract, an an actor that would follow their contract. They never had to walk into the room and deal with a black man. Yeah, totally. Famously, Muhammad Ali does not exist. To give the most famous, most influential white woman in the world for black children. Yeah, no, it's just, it's crazy. A red hat or white yeah, black athletes children. have never put themselves in, in harm's way to make a political statement. Foot, 57, it's just that, like, warehouses they didn't do it, it to, to, you know, abide by so white supremacist black values black or to defend white supremacist values. Before. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So let's be easy on everybody. At the end of the day, we're all dirt beneath the God. It is main character syndrome. He's lost other. it. He's like, my he's so disrespectful. Quincy Jones beneath. I'm not Moses. I'm Quincy Jones, right? And we're playing all a symphony, but we're all playing on different notes. Right. It's people that are there for greed. It's people there. It's all people there for, let's not say the wrong reasons, but we're all here. And God calls me to bring everybody together. Good. Everybody together, the left, the right, the racist, the non-racist, the Christians, the atheists, the the straight, the the trans, the this, that, everybody. That's what God Do you is accept calling. Accept everybody to go. I accept everyone together because we're all, you know, we can't judge our sins. In mm. God's eyes, looking at somebody's wife. And killing somebody is the same level sin. It's mm. all the Let's equal again, level sin. Looking at, looking at somebody's wife and killing somebody is the same level sin. What? Is that true? We should not be judged by man. We we perform for an audience of one, and right. that's God. Ooh. Dude, I'm sorry. The dick riding. We are here. Something about Miami. Dude, what? Something about Miami that's so close. (laughs) These are grown ass men, bro. So close to Barbados. Yeah. So close. You know what I'm saying? So close. You're a grown ass man. You just clap for another man who said the most insane shit. By God. You're used by the actual creator. (laughs) How does that feel? Fantastic. Because <laughs> I know I'm being used by God. Yeah. In the greatest way ever. Yeah. You know what I'm but let me tell you, it's like I'm 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 out here on 186th Street in the suburbs of Chicago. What? Nigga try to shit on me and make history. Supposedly, Bum. I was the man that was supposed to be the, the head, head of the clique. Listen, but nobody listen. says. Oh, 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 Ha, ha, ha. 
Yay, yay, yay. I just want you to know, yay. Sometimes they try to solidify you. I feel like this is going to create more r slash reddit atheists, by the way. Like, maybe I'm crazy, but the more I see this God combo happening, the more I can see, like, my reddit atheist side fucking explode. Yeah. When you with the y'all. It's just so... Yeah. It, it's bananas. You sound like a crazy person. You have to be so hopped up on, on Jesus juice to look at this and go, wow, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. But when you sit to the y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Culture. This is your culture, man. Like, you can never fuck saying you can never be cancel culture. What the fuck? You never walked away from your culture. Cause you know what? We write motherfucking y'all. Yeah. We, we write, we write y'all. We write y'all. And I'ma tell you, all these hired people that the Democrats gonna hire, they're not here with us. They didn't grow up with the same shit as I looked at the dude for the meeting. I said, you didn't grow up. The Jordans didn't affect you. You didn't cry to your mom because you couldn't get the sixes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This is the culture. This is who we are. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love Meek Mills. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? You're going there. Like, Meek Mills is in that. prison talking about, I'm going to fuck Rihanna. And, okay, we say, I'm going to say it some way. It's not disrespect for uh, Rocky. Meek Mills was like in prison, like, yo, I'm going I'm to bag this joint. And he did. Multiple joints. Boom, 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 boom. He even you got to uh, Rocky fucked on, um, what you call it? No, I'm not, I'm not you, doing, you know we're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? you, I'm just, you, I'm you, just you saying, it. I'm just saying respect to Rocky. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going I'm to I'm word this in a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? At, at the end of the day, Meek Mills, okay, from what I hear from Meek and what I hear from Kim, he never, he never, he never smashed, but it's other joints that's like in major situations that, you know, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So what? I got to honor Meek Mills. You know what I'm saying? Big Sean came to me, he said, He's you know, saying I, Meek Mills had I'm sex with Rihanna in prison. It's off limits because of Rocky, right? Right. So he's like, yo, Big Sean's like, I could have fucked da da da. And I was like, oh, and you didn't? What do you mean you didn't? You know what I'm saying? You got to understand, like, in certain ways of like, when a Meek Mills record plays, like, if you had a ball game, it hits in a different kind of way, bro. It's like, this is one of my favorite rappers. I mean, like, people used to tweet me, like, yo, we would hear Meek Mills, and, like, niggas is, like, literally, like, put their head down like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's... Because I feel like niggas be playing with people right there, right? Meaning, like, what I'm talking about, what I talked about at the beginning of this. And they try to, like, position us against ourselves. For me, Meek Mills will never be not be Meek Mills to me. Jeezy would never not be... Jeezy to me. Right. Jay-Z will never not be Jay-Z to me. Nobody that we signed to, I just word it like that, you know what I mean. Jewish! <laughs> <laughs> but no, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Where's Steve? We were signed what? to Steve. We gave him a round of applause for being signed to him. Where? Steve, Steve Rifkin? He's Where's here. Steve Rifkin? We gave him away. Where, where's the Jewish guy we gave him a round of applause for being signed to him? <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> bro, this is this is insane. So, this so is I'm actually saying, what the fuck is Meek Mills will never not be Meek Mills to me. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is like it's so funny. I had to rap. And I was thinking all these rappers like I would never speak ill on a black man in public. That's why I made Tremaine's nickname Tremendous. I made it better. I gave him the collection. I said, you know what? You rest supreme now. Me. Bari, Ian Connor, Playboy Cardi, we support you in your position. We support you in your position. Because anytime any of us take a position inside of a white company, we need the whole culture to support us, not be against us. And that's why I gave Virgil the hug. Mm. But that's, mm. that's, that's like the biggest argument. It's like Defending Bari Kanye is wild, especially Virgil. even V-Lone fucking dropped them. Well, the thing is, but I guess, thing you know, he's like, just going balls to the wall, bananas mode. He's going full-blown unhinged. You know what I mean? I'm like Hannibal Lecter. I know and what he, he defended Ian uh, Connor as well. They're not at 
LV, 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 LV. It's a different level of racism that we're dealing with than when you hit boom, boom, boom. They can't fuck with it. When you hear Marty Rose, they can't fuck with it. Y'all go want Candace on, uh, you get more Kamala all you want, but Candace Owens, they can't fuck with it. It's a different level that shows who we really are. Ice Cube mm. shows who we really are. Puff Daddy, Jay-Z, so many of us, we show who we really are. And if we go in and we take a job with Gap, Louis Vuitton, and we need to show who we really are, then we become the George Floyd. Y'all can take it like, that, like how y'all want it. And y'all can chop it up to make it the best. The best. But currently, we are under house arrest. Are these? As a people, we are under house arrest. I mean, he's doing the so Democratic the plantation why I fight shit. For the house. Because even in fighting for the house, we understand what we need as a people to rise to the level of what the Jewish people were able to do, what the British people were able to do, mm. what the French people were able Bro. to do. We as a culture colonial need powers. to run our own culture. Because right now, it ain't no guarantee that thir- their future's 13 kids ain't going to have to work for a Jewish Sorry. man again. Move. Take the picture. No, I thought like we, we did that already. No, we have to take the picture. I want to see how you edit this shit. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Take the picture. <laughs> I that my daughter's game. That was fucking bananas. Now, there's some uh, parts that I missed where he uh, mentioned George Floyd. I mean, this is like the most disrespectful. I, I watched. Uh, it, it ranges from like, from what I understand, it ranges from like hyper anti Semitic shit to like, uh, to, to, very anti-black uh, bullshit that you hear from Candace Owens, like verbatim. This is a Candace Owens line, from what I understand, verbatim. Watch the George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two roommates said was, they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm-hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck. That is just straight up white supremacist conspiracy theory through and through, top to bottom, start to finish. It's one that Candace Owens was like a big champion of on Facebook. She popped off for that. Because Candace Owens' entire purpose is to be the black face of white supremacy, Right? Her job is to literally say the same things that, like, you know, Klan members and and incredibly racist white people say, white supremacists say, but as a black woman, right? That's her job. That is what she makes money off of, okay? That's why we say Klan disowns. Out of pocket, my guy? You're saying, me saying Candace Owens' job is to be the black face of white supremacy, like a black woman who spreads white supremacist talking points, you are in the wrong community if you do not fucking understand that that is the reality here, okay? Unless you're talking about Kanye West here. Kanye West. He's probably talking about Kanye. Anyway, regardless. <sighs> is Ye too far gone? Yes, I, I think it is. It's just like, I mean, he's rich enough and loved enough. Uh, like, there are still plenty of people who just want so desperately for him to be normal, for him to return to like a normal state. Where he's not just fucking straight up saying, Hassan, don't make those jokes. What jokes?
Out of pocket, my guy. Kanye, out of pocket, sir. Come on, don't come at my Hassan. I think they mean the Clandis Owens joke. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, get mad at me if you want. It's Clandis Owens. Anyone and everyone that defends uh, Candace Owens, uh, to me, is, is crazy. There are lines I will not cross. You know what I mean? But it's not even a fucking joke at that point. It's just like, if anything, it's like too lighthearted about something that's like, she is literally a white supremacist. At least Kanye, uh, at least Kanye is in a situation where like he, he's vulnerable. You know what I mean? But even then, there's obviously a lot of personal responsibility he has refused to take, which is fucked up. There's a lot of personal responsibility um, with respect to like pushing people around, uh, pushing people that could have been by his side, people that love him, help him, not get uh, thrown into the precipice of, of mental illness and get exploited by the likes of Clandis Owens, right? Like that. When he said mama, mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. But something that hit me that fucked me up when I was watching the documentary and it said... They Bro, it's not a documentary, man. It's not. You watched like unhinged ramblings of, of white supremacist psychos that purposely cut agitated propaganda to make it seem like a, a, a black dude who was executed in broad daylight by uh, a, a functioning military arm of the fucking state. It, it was created to make you feel differently about that situation. And it was mostly created... With, uh, with, you know, uh, with the purpose of giving white people the opportunity to feel better about their white supremacist values and attitudes because it was Clandis Owens who made it. And that's her entire purpose. Her entire purpose, her entire job is to literally make racist white people have the talking points and feel more comfortable about those talking points because they can always turn back and say, well, listen, she's one of the good ones and she's saying it. But it's crazy. Like, you're 50 years old, man. You have to have some responsibility and some control. You know what I mean? Like, I get the, I get the, the, you know, the fact that, like, he's in a vulnerable mental state and is being exploited. But also, this is, this is very much Kanye West trying to be as controversial as possible and so careless about these issues that are so fucking, these issues that, that are violent. Like that, that harm uh, uh, black people less fortunate than he is. You know what I mean? Advancing white supremacist values this way uh, is, is making it a less safe space for, for black people across the board. Want a tall guy like me, when I looked at that image of him, this tall black dude with the bald head, he reminded me of somebody else. Hassan is so terrible on this topic. I hate it. Woo. Oh, come on. No one is helping him. Not even he himself is helping him. Delusions are common. Bipolar God stuff comes with it too often. That's crazy. I'm being so fucking... I may, maybe you're saying I'm being too charitable to him, I think. If anything, I'm being too fucking charitable. House. And then, um, so we're on the plane, and we're like, well, where's Drake's house? 
uh, in comparison uh, and distance to the concert. Uh. And I and I look up, I say, Goo. Oh, I went to the wrong video. Sorry. This is unrelated. Who do you think he reminded me of? Here. I was watching the documentary and it said they want a tall guy like me. When I looked at that image of him, this tall black dude with the bald head, he reminded me of somebody else. Who do you think he reminded me of? Virgil. He reminded me of Virgil. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna cry in front of y'all because that's how they get me, right? But I know that we lost him. And I know that this white company, Louis Vuitton, is now making statues of him, like as a martyr. And we don't know why exactly. We say it's cancer. But I yeah. mean, I mean, um, mm-hmm. all right, I want to be careful with this subject because. Wait a second, but tell me, mm-hmm. could you even really run this? Dude, that's crazy. He's like, I want to be careful with this subject. Not what you just said about George Floyd, but what you were saying, what you're about to say about Virgil Abloh. That's where the carefulness kicks in. Not for like the eight different moments where he's just saying like insane, unhinged shit about Jewish people. But now, like, holy fuck. Bro, if you wanted to be. <laughs> If you wanted to be careful, you should not have cut this video or even released it, but or made him drink when he's like very clearly going through this fucking manic episode. This interview, because Mav yeah. didn't run my interview. Right. You got know what I'm saying? They blocked me out. The Jewish media blocked me out. Dude, this shit come- lit, right? I'm lit, right? Yeah. I'm lit. Yeah. I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? JP Morgan, I put $140 million dollars the JP Morgan thing, by the way, is another fucking insane moment that was weaponized by the likes of Kanye, uh, uh, not Kanye, sorry, uh, Clandis Owens, where like they were like, look at the Jewish banks that fucking locked him out. Like that was the implication. Turns out he wanted to take his money out. Turns out he wanted to take his money out and was like literally naming fucking people that worked at the bank. These fucking banks don't give a shit, okay? They don't give a shit. Especially when you're rich. They work with literal terror groups, okay? They don't give a fuck. They just want the money. So for a bank to drop you when you have hundreds of millions of dollars at that bank, you had to go above and beyond. Turns out, he did. Turns out, he actually did. He, he literally went above and beyond. He, he uh, was naming fucking executives and shit. He was naming executives. He was, uh, uh, what do you call it? He, he wanted to pull his money out. And then they gave this. This was the disclaimer before the interview. The primary purpose of Drink Tramps is to provide a platform for creators to express their personal views or opinions without restriction of censorship. All views or opinions expressed during the podcast are solely those of the individuals expressing such view or opinion and does not reflect the views or opinions of Sean Combs, Revolt Media, or their respective parent or LLC affiliate companies. Hmm. Wonder why they put that fucking disclaimer on there. <laughs> Didn't take. But, you know. And the JP Morgan, and they treated me like shit. So if JP Morgan Chase is treating me like that, how they treating the rest no, of y'all? That's outrageous, Shoot. yeah. And this this murder was for Chase accounts. Yeah. That- that's what I'm saying. I am outraged. Mm-hmm. By the time people always, they want to calm it down. Because no matter what, you didn't yeah. break no law. I didn't break a law. No matter I didn't what, break the, a law. The bank shouldn't be a judge or jury on right. anything that's but going on. But this is, it's, right. it's like a social contract. Candace Owens has a word for it. I'm forgetting. But it's basically like, they told Candace Owens she couldn't hang out with me. You know, I'm here. Bro, if... The irony is, like, if he had listened to one single fucking adult that had his best interest in mind, maybe not personally his best interest, but, like, the bag in mind, he would probably not be here, okay? He would not be going through this fucking insane... Like, his ego is so crazy, man. It's not just it's not just fucking bipolar uh, mania. He also ha- already has, like, ego on super drive. So he's just like, no, I will literally fucking be with, oh, you, you don't want me to hang out with Candace Owens? I'm going to hang out with her extra hard. You don't want me saying that stuff that she's saying? I'm going to fucking be the number one mouthpiece for Candace Owens' uh, takes. But she's just insanely, he, he's just so uh, contrarian. He has to. He has to be contrarian.
Like a lot of the people that probably told him like, yo, stop fucking around with this white supremacy shit. What are you doing? We're probably thinking about it not as a, as a means of like preserving Kanye West and his legacy or whatever, maybe somewhere, but he literally was just like, dude, you're fucking the bag up. You're going to fuck yourself up. You're going to lose all the money that you're, you're making. You're going to lose your contracts. And he saw that as a threat. He saw that as like, a, oh yeah, well, I'm Kanye. Like I can do that and I can uh, get over it and I can continue going further and further into it. It's not just the, the, the white supremacist and anti-Semitic ideologies that he's presenting in this interview are not born out of, uh, you know, a legitimate disdain or, or, you know, because he read the fucking Turner Diaries or some shit. It's literally because the sparking moment was his fucking egomaniacal tendencies and his bipolar disorder that made it extra worse. Like, he just straight up was just like, oh, yeah, you don't want me to do this? Well, I'm going to do it extra hard. Like a child. And you're fucking 50 years old. That's crazy. Holy fuck. But how is it any different than the right-wing grifters, streamers you speak of? Is the fastest, easiest uh, way to get money, views, and a platform? Because a lot of those right-wing grifters know what boundaries not to cross. Okay? One of those boundaries is to, to come out and openly fucking state, uh, like, the moment that you say you're a Nazi, or the moment that you say you're in defense of Nazis, okay, or the moment that you're, like, anti-Semitic, which is, of course, one of the best identifiers of, of fascist ideology, okay? Holocaust revisionism and anti-Semitism are some of the best immediate identifiers uh, that, that someone is a Nazi. The moment that you say that, the moment that you openly fucking agitate for white supremacist shit, okay, you're done. A lot of these people might genuinely feel that but won't say it for that reason. Kanye West, on the other hand, is so unhinged that he can't stop. He, he's just like, he, he wants to go and break those boundaries, right? I'm late, so I don't know if anyone saw this. Kanye West donated $2 million. Uh, to George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor's families just two years ago. He donated $2 million and paid the college tuition for George Floyd's daughter. And of course, uh, you know, that was... Uh, he was still... He, he was, you know... He was in and out of mania at that point. People like Ben Shapiro... People like Ben Shapiro uh, want to use Kanye West, okay? They want to use Kanye West as best as they can because they understand that he's a profoundly popular person, okay? So, for that reason, like, they'll overlook his uh, clear anti-Semitic tendencies. Also, Revolt Media did some fact-checking. Let's see how good this fact-checking is. Ye returned to Dream Tramps for part three of his conversation with host Nori and DJ EFN on Saturday night, during which he discusses recent controversial statements, family, business relationships, and much more. While Ye is passionate about his take on an array of topics, the Revolt Black News team fact checks some of the remarks he made. One, Ye said 90% of rappers are signed to Jewish companies. The fact that we are even having this convo is insane, okay? That's why people are extra careful about anti-Semitic conspiracies, okay? Because once you start having these fucking anti-Semitic conspiracies, you got motherfuckers fact-checking it. Like, you, you have to be like, well, you know, <laughs> here are all the wasps that are in positions of power. You know what I'm saying? Louis Greenwich, Doug Morris... <laughs> And Kevin Kelleher serves the vice president. Rob Stringer, who is also Jewish, is also Sony Music. Zach Horowitz is the chairman. John Janis is the president. 
Barry Weiss is the CEO of Records. Paul Rosenberg is the former president of Def Jam Records. And Rick Rubin is the founder. <laughs> Ye said Jewish people don't have abortions. Although the exact data for how many abortions are sought by the Jewish people is unknown, Jewish activists have filed lawsuits targeting post-Roe v. Wade abortion restrictions and bans on the grounds that they violate their religious freedom. According to the Pew Research Center, 83% of Jewish people believe abortion should be legal. What's wrong about fact-checking this? I don't know how to explain this to you, but once you start saying all of these media executives are fucking Jewish, you're going down an incredibly dangerous... You're going down an incredibly dangerous thing. You know who else said that all the time? Hitler. I mean, literally, okay? Like, it's wild. I don't even know. I, I don't know if all these people are, are Jewish, by the way, but. But what's wild about this is that <laughs> like, so what? The point is, one, I don't even think that all of the record label CEOs are Jewish or whatever. But also, two, so what if they are? They're also white. So what? If it's true, isn't that dangerous? This is what's dangerous. What's dangerous is that you think it's dangerous. Why? Every single executive across the board is just capitalist, motherfucker. It doesn't matter what their background is. It doesn't matter if they're black, white, brown, Jewish, Christian. They're not operating at the behest of like some fucking Jewish conspiracy. This is why anti-Semitic conspiracies are so fucked up. Because you immediately go, oh man, isn't that dangerous? What the fuck? Why would that be dangerous? I love that instead of saying what uh, what the record what the percentage is, by the way, they just said here are all the Jewish executives. <laughs> this is a wild take, dude. Here's what Revolt uncovered about the Jewish executives in the music industry. That's crazy. Anyway, Ye said he's the richest black man in America. Ye is one of the richest entertainers. However, Forbes estimates Visa Equities' Robert F. Smith remains the richest black person in the U.S. with an estimated worth of $6 billion. Aliko Dangote of Nigeria is worth $11.8 billion and is recognized as the richest black person in the world. Ye said he doesn't know how Virgil Abloh died. Abloh died in November 2021 after a private battle with cardiac angiosarcoma, a rare form of cancer. He was 41. Ye said mass shootings compare to Chicago crime. Misinformation like trauma economy, like the BLM, when they do BLM, when they do school shootings, the same amount of people get killed every week in Chicago, but they're not posting that, Ye said. According to the Chicago Sun-Times, Chicago's crime rates are commonly compared to other cities such as Little Rock, Arkansas. The publication said it is a common media-driven perception in Little Rock that Chicago is a terribly dangerous place, but the Arkansas city's per capita homicide rate is actually worse than Chicago's. Ye said the George Floyd area that they made in Chicago, the murder rate is up 50% since. There's no target data tied to the statement. Homicides in Chicago may be declining this year, but rape and robberies are also on the rise, according to the Major Cities Chiefs Association mid-year survey. According to the survey, homicides in Chicago were 10% lower in the first six months of 2022 compared to the same period in 2021. Homicides have dropped from 344 to 311 during that period. What an incredible fucking fact check, dude. Wonderful fact check here. Sorry, Christian Europeans put Jewish people in charge of banking for hundreds of years when capitalism came along and became an advantage. No one ever brings that up. It's the obvious fucking cause. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter what the underlying historical reason or reference point might be. Okay? Like, whether it was because Jewish people were not uh, allowed to own land and farm, which was seen as, like, the most viable industry at the time, and therefore uh, their lack of uh, seeing usury as a sin within their uh, religion was one reason for uh, them to engage in banking affairs regardless until banking became, like, the primary, the main source in, an heavily, in a heavily financialized global economy under capitalism. Ultimately, the main problem is capitalism. And also, even before then, you know, anti-Semitism was kind of fire back then. You know what I mean? Like, blood libel. It's always been at the heart of, of matters. Whenever you need some kind of, whenever you need some kind of villain to tie everything together, some kind of villain to tie everything together. Wait, what? They're, check their source on the Jewish execs is a literal hate group? Wait, what? Papa talk. Express yourself to white and Jewish men that run the major record labels? Wait, what? Where did they get the information from? Source. What? This is their source? Bro, that's crazy. They just went and, and found like a fucking 4chan adjacent source 4chan message board. That's crazy. Wow, they did some really they did some really good journalism on this one. <laughs> they sourced it out of Stormfront, brother. <laughs> That's crazy. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Michaela said, I'm genuinely hurt because he was the only celebrity I've ever been inspired by. The only person who was made ever made me feel like I'm not crazy for being outspoken. I've never idolized anyone that way. I have. Yay. Now I feel truly dumb. It's pathetic, but I am sad. Gotta rip that band-aid off, Michaela. It happens. Yeah, they... <laughs> He was talking about the Chinese. Oh, no. To have the black vote be in group think and to not separate from the thought and be in completely in line with the agenda of the left, the Jewish media and the Chinese. That's a lot of Chinese. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, he's not masking it. He's just going... The Chinese? What? Like, I, I don't want to glance over the full, uh, the full Nazi uh, take there, okay? Where he just goes Jewish media, but <laughs> what? Jewish media and the Chinese. That's a lot of Chinese things got something to do with it? They got something to do with everything. This is my issue. the white line oh here this is the this is the the fucking oh i want to talk about what fd signifier said yay speaks his anti-black conservative talking points too cogently and effectively to blame it on mental illness he may be in a state of mania to say it so loudly but the rhetoric is his own that's a really good take i think because like i want to be as careful as possible not to just like take all the blame away from kanye west here because uh you know yes while he is in a manic state it's very obvious that it's not just his mania that is causing him to say these things, okay? Uh, we made the White Lives Matter tease, mm. and then when I put up the, the tweet, the DEF CON tweet, now nah, he, ain't, he ain't releasing the tea because mm. he's Jewish. Mm. And I'm like, see, this is my exact point that I'm mm. making. Mm. Like, Jewish people have owned the black voice, mm. whether it's through us wearing a Ralph Lauren Bro, he's so, I mean, th this is the straight up, it's divide and conquer. It's just straight up like 
the age old anti Semitic conspiracy theories. Oh no. Oh no. What the fuck? I didn't even see this. China urges citizens to leave Ukraine and surrounding areas immediately. Oh no, brother. This is not good. That was eight hours ago. I mean, yeah, that's mass mobilization like that of that sort is never good. The fuck. Do not trust one Twitter account. Well, it's not just one Twitter account. It's fucking, uh, it's a CNBC's like alert. Also, Global Time posted it too. Chinese nationals in Ukraine sign up for evacuation after call from foreign minister. So, no, it doesn't seem like... Wait, does this mean China is getting involved? No, it doesn't mean China is getting involved. It means China knows something that... China knows something that other people don't know as a fucking partner. China is Russia's partner in this. Think about why they would... Think about why, uh, especially after they, they did like a big... Uh, I think today was a, was a big day. Xi Jinping spoke. They know, they, they know more than anyone else because they know about Russia's planned movements better than anyone else does. This level of announcement means there is going to be a, a massive logistical hurdle. They know that this has the capacity to fucking shift markets. They wouldn't say this unless it was imminent, unless there was something that they knew that was imminent. And here are all the countries that have Close their embassies and urge people to evacuate. China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Serbia, Tajikistan, Belarus. They are all allies of the Russian Federation. Why would you... Uh Why would all allies of... Why would all allies of Russia that have more access to... Uh, Russian moves or upcoming Russian moves. Fuck. Just read it. It is less alarmist. I don't know. Similar reports before the massive invasion appearing in Belarus. A train carrying military hardware spotted in a Belarusian town earlier today. Holy fuck, dude. Okay, let's let's uh okay, let's get back to Kanye West. We'll th oh, fuck. Let's get back to Kanye West and, and his like anti-Semitic conspiracy theories from for now. And we'll we'll cover the the potential imminent atomic clock in a little bit. What does that mean for us? I'm getting anxiety. Well, I'll read the article afterwards. I don't know, I don't know anything. Okay, I don't know anything. All right, I will look into it further. I don't know at this time what this means, okay? I will read it. I will read it after. We're in the middle of something else currently.
Hmm. Ugh. Revolt Media removed the article. Nice. And the tweet. Azan, you read a tweet that was implying world ending stuff and continue on with Kanye? Yes. Yes, because I like to not think that the world is going to be ending. And I want to have a, I have a cooler minds will prevail attitude when it comes to this sort of thing. So I want to, I want to just simply uh, wait and, and take a deep breath and then cover it. And when I mean cooler minds, I don't mean like the Russian government will provide a cooler, calmer mind. I mean, um, I need to look at it with a cooler, calmer mind approach. Um, I did see this as well. South Korea believes a North Korean nuclear test could be imminent. President's office put on a 24-hour standby. I saw uh, people were posting this in the chat 15 minutes ago when it first came out. We're not having this conversation at the moment. Let's just go through this. And we will continue. Let's just go through with this and then. shirt or it's all of us being signed to a record label or having a jewish manager or being signed to a jewish dude you got 43k young people worked up you need to be clear and calm them down can you tell your chat that the type of nuclear weapons being considered by Russia are small tactical warheads, that the U.S. will not respond with nuclear force? These aren't city-destroying weapons. You need to calm your chat down. Bro, you literally are saying you need to calm your chat down by saying Russia's going to use baby nukes. It's fine. Okay? The fuck? What do you mean? If I, Reading that is probably making people less calm. You understand that? This is why I want to move on from it for now and then get further detail, and then we can talk about it. Okay? What are you, the fucking State Department mouthpiece? This is what they've been fucking gearing up for the past month. Every time, every time a State Department motherfucker goes on American news media, they keep saying, Russia might use nukes, but there'll be baby nukes. Don't worry about it. I'm fucking, Jesus Christ. That, I, I don't think you, I don't think you understand that. That's not a, it's not fine, but it isn't world ending anxiety is not fine. Okay. But like, that's still anxiety. Let's just fucking chill for a second. Let's not, let's, let's continue with this. Okay. And then we'll get to that as well. Please. Please. Calm down. I'm the one who is trying to calm you by getting you to stop worrying and stop thinking about that. We will cover it. Yes, of course I talked about Amaranth already. When we said, don't worry, it's not world ending. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's still world ending for potentially tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians that will still be getting nuked. Okay, so that's that's pretty fucked up, I think. Anyway. Okay, okay. Let's continue with Kanye West talking about having Jewish managers and Ralph Lauren, but also about the potential that the top of the hour ad break is upon us. At the top of the hour, there's a six second ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. 
I don't, here's the fucking ad break. I don't even want to do a segue. I'm just doing the ad break. On the black voice, mm. whether it's through us wearing a Ralph Lauren shirt or it's all of us being signed to a record label or having a Jewish manager or being signed to a Jewish basketball team mm. or doing a movie on a Jewish platform like Disney. Mm-hmm. And we understand it's like I, I, I respect what the Jew, Jewish people have done and how they brought their people together. Mm-hmm. You know, they came into money uh, through the lawyers mm-hmm. when uh, after Wall Street, when, um, when all of the, uh, like the Catholics, they wouldn't, they wouldn't divorce people. Right. So the right. Jewish lawyers came and they were willing to divorce people. That's when they... What? Bro, what the fuck? Grizzly, Padam, STX, thank you for the five two hundred says, what? That's not even, what is this? Who is even explaining this stuff to him? Like, who is filling his head up with this crazy shit? This has got to be like divorce guy to alt-right pipeline speaking, right? I mean, I think a lot of this is basically instructive. It's informative. Like, the, the number one pipeline in America that isn't addressed is, like, the divorced dad to, like, right-wing psycho anti-Semite pipeline. Okay. first came into their money. So like, say, with me and Jay, with our, our culture, with the with the darker Jews, uh, first just, of all, because you got to... It just happens when anybody starts talking deep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with the... Deep. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Oh, my... I love when... Jewish business secrets are uh, ownership of real estate. Like, man, it's really fucked up. <laughs> TikTok landlords are are giving up Jewish business secrets. <laughs> Every fucking TikTok Airbnb landlord is giving up <laughs> ancient Jewish business secrets. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, peril. Okay. He talked about the White Lives Matter shirt, the Jewish media and Planned Parenthood. Of is from American Apparel. Okay. But I'm talking about put out my White Lives Matter tee. The White Lives Matter tee don't say nothing. It don't say DEFCON or nothing on it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, put it out. And he's telling me, like, yo, I want you to visit the Holocaust Museum. And I was like, yo, I want you to visit Planned Parenthood. That's our Holocaust Museum. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I put my life on this. At this point, because they've been fucking with me too long. Mm. They put they put the crazy narrative out there. My Jewish trainer, Harley Pashanak, who's Lizzo's trainer, right. uh, put it out when I went to the hospital, put it in the press. Oh, I got wow. a bunch of friends that went to the hospital. It didn't go to the press. Bro, the fact that he's just like constantly naming Jewish people around him is immediately alarming. OK. Like. You don't do that. You know, you you just. Like, I'm telling you. Even if he did this for not white, obviously, because white is a concept of power. It's entirely separate. But even if he was like my Italian trainer, my Italian this, my Italian chef, like you'd be like, what the fuck is up with this guy? (laughs) Like at a certain point, you'd be like, even if it wasn't like a like a historically marginalized group, right? Even if it was just like ethnically separating a group of individuals, you'd be like, what is happening? Like, what the fuck? Why are you doing this? Like, what is the reason?
Ai, ai, ai. They did that just like they did in the documentary on the third episode to okay. say, we love Ye like the rest of y'all. We know he a genius like the rest of y'all, but sometimes you got to turn the camera off on him. Right. So they'll go and get a dude that's supposed to be my friend that's been taping me the whole time and buy this nigga out for $30 I, I million. You, dollars. I thought you co-signed that. I ain't co-signing, but oh. you you get used to that. Paparazzi taking a picture of you, you ain't getting no money off it. Right. You just get used to getting screwed by the mm. Jewish media. Mm. And I'm saying... Y'all done poked the bear too fucking long. When I wore the White Lives Matter tee, they, I had four SoFi Stadium shows. You know what's fucking insane? Like, <laughs> dude. First of all. What's fucking, I mean, everything. You know what's insane? This. But what's crazy about this is that, like, there are elements of what he's saying. If he just removes Jewish out of the equation, it makes sense. Like the exploitative nature of media, how executives, capital owners regularly are fucking exploiting him, exploiting his imagery, exploiting his weak moments, which by the way, ironically, this is another moment of a, of a capitalist exploiting his weak moment. And instead, because he has no roots within dialectical materialism, materialist analysis, He's like desperately seeking for a, uh, a, a, a villain. And then he goes, uh, and this is the reason why. He goes, who runs the media? It's not Jews, you dumb fuck. It's just so fucking stupid. It's capitalists, okay? It's not exclusive to Jewish people. You're a psycho. It's people who own capital, Okay? Why the fuck do you only hear George Soros' name mentioned in the fucking media when, like, look, as a neoliberal, I'm not a fan of George Soros, the billionaire, okay? I'm not. But you don't hear me fucking constantly cry about George Soros because he's a broke boy in comparison to so many other even larger and more influential Christian billionaires. Even fucking Bill Gates, you don't hear about this much uh, with respect to, like, how he has... Uh, fundamentally change the way that uh, the, the, the way that we look at, uh, uh, you know, uh, African populations, population control, overpopulation, education system in the United States of America, you know? It's just crazy. Rupert, uh, Rupert Murdoch never gets mentioned. The Walton family. Chatter, he's saying Soros is a neolib, you weirdos. He is. George Soros is a neoliberal. He is a billionaire. You're fucking delusional. Like, I feel weird even talking about the, the uh, Hibernian conspiracy because it's like a joke that uh, people have made about how, you know, there are more um, Hibernian people that are in positions of power in America than there are Jews, right? And it's like, uh, and, and now I'm worried that people are going to take that shit seriously because there's like so much mental illness. You know what I mean? Yeah, the classic. Wait, isn't this the... Yeah, the Hibernian conspiracy, this... They tell you it's the Jew, but have you heard of the Hibernian conspiracy? Sounds crazy. Get ready to take the green pill. List of U.S. presidents with Irish blood. <laughs> Barack Obama. It was Irish immigrants who first assaulted America, white America's core values, bringing with them a culture which many had commented was still pagan at its core. They began to dismantle the Anglo-Saxon purity of the United States. Uh, 
like it's it's a joke. <laughs> Hibernian Media Control, Walt Disney, John Ford, Alfred Hitchcock, John Houston, Michael Moore. When you watch TV, you're really watching Hiberno Disinfo, Conan O'Brien, O'Brien, Sean Hannity. <laughs> the insidious Hibernian worked his way into American finance to control the direction of the nation. So, like... Okay. This is obviously a fucking joke. And it's it's making fun of people who do this for like uh you know Jewish people, right? But also you have to remember, like the reason why I didn't want to show this is because like people are so fucking brain broken. I can see motherfuckers literally taking that seriously and now saying like, wow, you know, maybe it's true. Uh, okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I just let's get back to this. Let's get back to this clip. Shows they cancel my shows. Mm -hmm. I said it's up. And let me tell you one thing. It's like if a black man is caught with some in the car or some, everybody in the car going to go to jail for, with him, right? But if a black man can play basketball or rap, only he gets the record deal. So meaning like if one black man does something bad, all the other blacks get caught with him. If one black man does something good. Nobody else gets nothing with them. It's a reverse for the Jewish people, right? right. If, if a Jewish person could repeatedly fucks me on a deal, it's right. just them. It's just the businessman. It's not the people. It's not nobody else. Right. But what? Bro, he's... He, what, wait, what? He said anti-black racism that makes the black community a monolith when one singular black person uh, individually fucks up is bad but it doesn't happen to jewish people so we should make that happen again he literally fucking said bro what we should be doing more of is making marginalized communities uh, or historically marginalized communities a monolith <laughs> because he's doing that he is doing that that's insane He, he really, Kanye West really looked at contemporary society and said, we need more of this racism shit. That was pretty good. And, and my God, do we need more of that? Okay. But if a Jewish person does good, all of their people eat with them. That's one of the flips. I got to tell you something. Where is a black guy that has a Jewish person? Like, first of all, we are Semite. We talk to Cube because Cube been labeled an anti-Semite. First of all, we are Semite. We right. Jew. So I can't be anti-Semite. Right. First of all. Okay, this is the full video. It's three and a half hours. I'm not going to watch it. I'm just going to watch the highlights, man. That's crazy. I can't watch the whole thing, you know? That's a wild I need thing. my four stadiums back. The 78 media outlets that call me abuser when I was trying to get that heroin addict away from my kids that was tattooing my kids' names on them, Skeet, right, right. Pete Davidson. Right. They popping up. You know what I'm saying? It's like they uh, Trevor Noah, not even from America. Right. He just looked black. Right. Right? Wait, what? Uh, gonna tell what the fuck? Why is... Wait, what? Why is Trevor Nova catching strays, bro? What the fuck? That's crazy.
Yeah, he's mad about Dua Lipa too. No, nah, Trevor Noah probably said some shit like Kanye was being fucking stupid like way back in the day, and he held on to it. Hell, gonna say, yo, Kim, it's gonna get dangerous. So they putting all that he crazy. He's so OJ. Yeah. My Nori just want the family back together. Right. I just want the family back together. Right. Kim is a Christian. On TMZ, I just saw yesterday, they said, Pete Davidson and Kim have sex by the fireplace to honor their grandmother. Oh, no, dude. He's mad about... He's... A lot of his resentment and animosity, unironically, could be, like, reduced to such petty fucking squabbles, dude. He's like, you told me I can't say that, I'm gonna say it. You told me, uh, you know, Pete Davidson's got good dick game, I'm gonna fucking think about that for the rest of my life, I'm gonna hold on to it. Kim Kardashian tells her grandmother she had sex with Pete Davidson in front of a fireplace to honor her. What the fuck? Dude. <laughs> Bananas. One second. I think that family would drive anyone insane. I mean, it certainly wasn't helpful for a man at the precipice of like genuine mental health complications. TMZ follows you. Yeah, they do. Not too closely, I hope. Wait, hold on. I got to run this real quick. That's just on the floor. I'll be is back that, in a second. Is that degrading to somebody that's rich that want to come I'll in be back and in a second. you? Hold we on. should degrade the rich. Everybody is dirt. Everybody on the same level beneath God. Because we we'll hop over. That was all. <laughs> what? Yeah. Damn, I wasn't ready. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll walk over a homeless person at, uh, to get to the Gucci store. Mm, terrible. Ray Kurzweil said a utopia is possible where we're led by the least noble and the greediest people. Mm. I brought the head designer of Balenciaga, the greatest designer on our planet today, to so, Demna. Yeah. Demna is the yay. Wow. Of of clothing, Dimna is the Drake mm. of clothing. Mm. Drake, Drake is the greatest rapper ever. And you said, and, and in, I don't, in war? I, don't, I don't apologize about it. You said in war he held fuck your baby's mother's mother. Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> that was that was hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's going on? What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's like, like, it was, we yeah. was confused. You know what it means. So, <laughs> God damn it. And, and I put like, Corey know what it means. Corey, oh my God. So, um. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let me get another one. <laughs> So let me bring out the yabby yeah, easy. Oh my God! I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Libra, happy birthday. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Yay is out there. Let's go. Oh. Oh, oh. Speaking of that, are you are you single? Are you are you back in the market? You finger you finger popping. You finger popping out there. What you doing? What you doing out there? Yeah, you know I'm the type of person I I I, I go. I'm going to grow from girlfriend to girlfriend. Like, I mm. like, I like focus. You know, I like Thank to, you. like I say, would it amuse you if I amused you? Mm. Like, I like to make a girl my muse. Mm. I like to take them and, you know, take them o overseas or mm. something like that. I like to get them Birkins. I might mm. even get a girl a house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on some, like, ridiculously rich shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just yeah. do everything. <laughs> <that I> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
We went from one extreme to the other. Don't step on me, though. The, the homeless guy who gets a Gucci. And I'm like, oh, no. Remember, we got to go back to Gap. We got to go back to Gap. Well, well. No, because we can't have them homeless. We can't have them homeless. No, no but one day, one day. <laughs> Ridiculously rich shit. One day I'm singing one of my favorite songs. I'm like, oh, your life in the change right now. That was about Cheney. Okay. Dick Cheney? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what? No, but I was singing it. No, at first, you know, the funny thing, it was about Stas and then Stas, Kylie's friend, uh -huh. and she was scared to come down to the studio because, um, you know, life was finna change right now. Because the Kardashians got got okay. her threatened, so uh -huh. then I just took her name off. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And then, but the thing, it's like a mix, because I could like be kind of, I could like a couple girls at one time, and I'll put that together in a verse. So right. some of the stuff is like specifically Cheney and some of the stuff is more right. Stas. Cause and then I and then you know at the end of the day, it's all gospel, right? So right. we could be inspired by what God made through the female's beauty, but at the end of the day, we gotta give it all to God. Uh -huh. So at the end of the song, it says, Stasi baby, why you twerk so crazy? I wanna be on an airplane, cause it's a twerking video, she on the airplane. I play it for Trav, he started laughing. Uh, so, but then Over I- my head. But then I switched, I said, Lord, take me where you wanna take me. Too much drama lately, your oh, life in the change right now. <laughs> your life in the change right now. Balenciaga for all, all your friends, friends. <laughs> for the argument. <laughs> Your life in the change right now. Okay, let me talk about Balenciaga. Okay. I'm Balenciaga. That. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, I study. Yeah. So I did my sure. <laughs> Oh, and I got, I, I got the lights lighting up, too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I've been, since you did the last interview, yeah. I've been Balenciaga. You know, the, my, they, my nickname is Yala. So yeah. now they call me Balenciaga. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, I killed that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so... Mm. <laughs> Balenciaga. Balenciaga has the best design because they have the best designer. Period. And that's not you? I'm more like a Steve Jobs type. You know, you should say to Steve, like, yo, you don't even program. Mm -hmm. You know, I would never disrespect a designer that been to school and that can cut and mm -hmm. have dedicated their whole life and call myself a designer. Mm -hmm. I'm more an imag imagineer. I'm a mm -hmm. visionary. Mm. And I, I place the pieces of our culture together. Oh. Even right now, you know, I want to bring joy and laughter. So even if, say, say if say say we wanted to, like, look at the interview and, mm. and we have a conversation out and say, look, do we need this first segment? Let's just do the shit that's, like, mm. you know, it's controversial because people right. ain't going to really name names, but right. it's funny still. Right. Right. I think about that. It's like... We need joy. It's too much pain. Right, you definitely. know, it's too much anger. Right. And it's too much trauma economy. Right. You know, I'm not going to be... Did he do the Drake thing yet? Did he say the Drake thing yet? Which is like... I would say pretty offensive. Did, he, did I miss that part? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would, go, I would go far with that one. I, I would say that that is like... Probably one of the more offensive things he said in this interview. Like if we're going to hold him accountable, I think that's another one that needs to be held accountable. Like another one of those takes. Like, yeah, sure. He's talking about being an Imagineer, all the stuff. You know, a, a bunch of dumb shit, but like outright offensive, the Drake thing. Be like, you know, I, you know, I talk about the left, the Democrats, and how they pray mm -hmm. with BLM on our outrage. Mm -hmm. You know, even when I put up the DEFCON 3 uh, tweet, I was outraged at this point. What does DEFCON 3 mean? It's like level oh. of... This, like you know, end. actually, when it's, really def, when it's DEFCON... It's like nuclear war yeah. shit. Like, I, I, spelled, I spelled it wrong. I have a tendency to do that. But right. DEFCON is actually that you're preparing to right. protect yourself. Because that's what I did. Because if they're once they cancel four SoFi stadiums because of what's classified as wrong think, mm -hmm. 
right. because you have groupthink. Right. It is very important to have the black vote be in groupthink and to not separate from the thought and be in completely in line with the agenda of the left, the Jewish media, and the Chinese. Candace Owens looks crazy, Chinese man. Chinese things got something to do with it? They got something to do with everything. This is my issue with Jared Kushner. Say, okay, so I went to a dinner, right, with Josh Kushner, Jared Kushner, and Ivanka. I'm always saying her name like that. <laughs> so... <laughs> We know what that means. <laughs> That's a different ring to it. Go ahead, continue. No, me and Ivanka, nothing never Cause, happened. Cause but it's so, I, it's, I it's hung so, out with you and Jerry one Yeah, time. it's so funny, though, because me and Drake, you know, before Donda came out, we, we met up at the studio, and the, the 80% of the time, I'm just talking about how much I love Future and how I want to work with him mm -hmm. and how, you know, he's, you know, the most influential you know, artist of the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. He had the most number ones in history now with mm -hmm. Wait For You, so we was right about that, right? Mm -hmm. So, and he says, yo, I just want to tell you, you know, nothing ever happened, you know, with Kim. Who, Future something? No, this is, this is what Drake told me. Oh, this is I'm Drake. only talking to Drake about Future, really. Like, okay. I'm like, yo, I love Future. This is after y'all squashed the beat, after this the concert? This is when we were squashing it, okay, right? Okay. This is when we, we squashed it tw twice last year. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, and then when me and Drake Prince uh, went to um, go see him. I got another funny story about that. Oh, but love so, um, uh, so, so then Drake says to me, "Yo, uh, no, no, no I'm, I need to tell the story like this." So, basically, uh, you know, Jared Kushner asked Steve Stout, "Like, yo, just tell me, like, did Ye fuck my wife?" And Steve Stout well, was <laughs> like, "Wait." Ludwig did not steal my Johnny Sins isn't an astronaut line. Bro. I'm sick and tired of it. That's crazy. I, <laughs> no, Ye never, ne, Ye never, ne, never did not. So when I went to the White House, uh, I saw Jerry. I was like, yo, I want to just tell you nothing ever happened. He's like, yo, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, yo, and I grabbed him by both shoulders and I was like, yo, Jared, nothing has, no, nothing's ever happened. And he said, yo, thank you for saying that. Okay, so when I saw Drake, we was in what? the parking lot, we we're talking, and he said, yo, I just want to tell you, yo, nothing ever happened. Is he saying he never fucked Ivanka? I said, I, we know that. Thank you for saying that. When did I become Jared? <laughs> 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 I did not know where this was going. You had me scared for a second. Oh. Hidden hills. Mm -hmm. Give your wife the chills. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. So. You gave me the chills. What's your wife? What's your wife? All right, so this is why we're going to win for 2024, okay, bro. Let's it's go, like, let's go. This truth. The right. truth, because every man got their truth. Right. Every man could be the, the victim or the victor. You either, you either want, you know, you, you cheat with somebody, you're getting cheated on. Mm. You know, you, you're what? either the victim or the bully. Like, it depends on the situation you're in. And I just want to show you mm -hmm. that situation. So so we're going because the old man made a call for me and uh, We said Drake. the old man, we talking about Larry Hoover. Yeah, Larry Hoover yeah, right. made a call for me and Drake to squash things Fire. and to do this that's concert dope. together. Just like Farrakhan said something to me and Puff just mm. now about White Lives Matter and Black right. Lives Matter right. and about the misunderstandings that we're having out here, mm. right? So Which is me, beautiful. So me, it's me, uh, uh, J Prince, mm -hmm. uh, G, mm -hmm. it's Jazz Prince, mm -hmm. it's his wife, and I got a girl with me, and I'm like, damn, my bitch not as bad as Jazz wife. Were you saying this out loud? <laughs> you wild, bro. I'm like, damn, she killer. No, so, so, <laughs> so, so anyway, so Dave Chappelle has a concert that night. Mm -hmm. The night where we're going to, so we're seeing like, yo, can we go chop it up with Drake mm -hmm. and then make it to the Dave Chappelle joint mm -hmm. and go by the house? And then, um, so we're on the plane and we're like, well, where's Drake's house? Uh, in comparison uh, and distance to the concert. Uh. 
and I and I look up, I say, Google it. <laughs> That's the whole thing. You could Google it. Remember yeah. that was the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. basic. Yeah. I, I, I can set it up differently. Remember the whole thing was. Yeah, well, you gave yo, Drake address. I gave out. his address. Yes, yes. And my whole thing is you could Google the address. <laughs> right, right, right. And everybody on the plane right. started laughing. Because right, right. you could Google the address. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just, it just looked like yeah. something on Instagram. Right, you know what right, I'm right, saying? Right, I was right. like, oh, I got the address. Right. Get, and, and guess how I found it? I Googled, I Googled it. it. <laughs> That's crazy. That's cra- that is insane to just fucking joke about that. Oh, shit. Your house don't look the same on these Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, but how is that? Because so you actually go to his house to squash it. Yeah. You walk in the lion's den for for lack of a better term because you're on his grounds. And then you you, you at this time at least I remember this is Kanye Dolo. This is like Kanye's not rolling with no one. Or did you go with security at that time or no? No, nah, I mean, I mean, Jay Prince is there. Okay. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's success. That's makes noise, Jay Prince. Yeah, that's success. Yeah. Jay Prince. Yeah. Real nigga, what's up? Yeah. But, um, go ahead. Yeah, but you know, Charlemagne. He How you be- knew I was going to talk about Charlemagne? How you knew that? <laughs> that's in my notes. Uh, yo, yo, he just, you know, he gonna go on air and be like, oh, man, I'm gonna paraphrase it. Uh. Kim is with Pete because he got a bigger dick. Why are you talking about another man dick mm. on camera? None you got ready. to deal with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a bunch of these industry plant niggas. What? Also didn't deny it? What? He's so unhinged. You just like, he is no, he's not even trying to do marketing. He's just like pure mania. He's just saying whatever comes, no filter. I feel like that's some shit of your kind. Wes, you just don't say out. You don't say out loud. It's just like Samuel Jackson and Django. Not Samuel Jackson in real life. I fuck with Samuel Jackson in real life. I'm just talking yeah. about the character yeah. in Django. In Django, it's like, man. Y'all are not helping, but it's like a video game of life. You know, we mm-hmm. all can get free eventually. And like you see, I got love for everybody, right. but it's no love if somebody's fucking with me. Right. My, I'm like, I'm like, I really don't wish harm on nobody. Right. But I do realize that I can make people jealous right. by like flexing so hard, and that's mm-hmm. gonna come with it. You know what I'm saying? It's because mm-hmm. we, me, like me and Cons would be in the studio. And we would make songs and be like, yo, we want to make niggas mad. We want to make niggas mad with the music. Like, if it, like, if it don't hurt. Like, if it don't, it's, it's, it can't just compete. It has to hurt. Mm-hmm. We not just, that's the reason why I'm not wash. Because mm-hmm. I still make it hurt, mm-hmm. you know. So, um, and then it comes out and it hurt. And people be hurt about it. And then I be halfway acting like I don't know why they hurt. Mm. They hurt because you hurt them. This mm. hurts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sleeping in a stadium hurts. Yeah. All like, you know, throwing Balenciaga couture on the floor, it hurts. Like even when, you know, I went to the Ice Cube Big Three um, event and I had Justin LaBoy, King Toxic, and I had Vori with me. And I was saying like, yo, Drake, because this is my number, you know, it's like, if we're gonna put our album out, you gotta go after the, the number one artist. Which was Rory like, at the time? Which was Drake. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, when me, James Blake, are and No ID are in the studio working on our album, who do you think we'd be bringing up when we talking about songs? Stadium artists, who do you think we bring up? Drake. And we ain't got no problem, we, we, there's no beef and no problem, it's just like, yo, we competing, not Drake. Who do you think we bring up? Anybody else got another? Travis? Stadium. Think down here. Kodak Black. No, no. Stadium. Stadium. Bad Bunny. That's who's on our wall. Right. That's who's on our wall when we make music. Uh oh, Bad Bunny, look out! Concert footage. Right. Are you talking about the the aesthetics of the of the stadium and what what it's looking yeah, like? Yeah, not just the aesthetics. And in retrospect, if it wasn't for me. It yeah. might not be no bad bunny. I, <laughs> I brought Greg A. to America. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm making noise to me. But I'm sorry, yeah, you make 
Come on, yeah. come on, come on, let's go. So it, it, the thing is, it depends on what we're doing. You know what I'm right. saying? We're going to do close. We're going to look at Supreme. Right. We're gonna look Bad at Bunny, Yaga. look out. Watch we're out. We're going to look at Ralph. Are we looking at these raps? All right. You know, we're gonna we're gonna look at we're gonna look at Drake, you know what I'm right. saying? We looking at stadiums, right. we're gonna look at Bad Bunny, we gotta look at everything that's really happening. We're gonna look at money, we're gonna look at Elon, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna look at the Saudis. That's how I look right. at everything. That's a right. widespread view of right. everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything has to be Apple, you know, level. Cause, Cause we heard you we, we was you was building your own yay community. Is that still Yay immunity? Y- yay immunity. Y- unity. <laughs> You know, this is one of my issues that I have because we're, we're, I've been building, I've invested like over $150 million. Nori was featured on Daddy Yankee's hit single, Gasolina, which is why he said that. He's kind of right. Um, I mean, I, I don't know enough about music, but. <clears throat> the same way that I think you guys all understand, Johnny Sins, not an astronaut. He's never been in space. Someone clip it. Someone clipped me saying the exact same thing. It's true. He's never done it. All right? He's never saved kittens out of a tree. He's not a firefighter. And I don't think he's ever delivered a damn pizza in his life. The same way that if someone is stuck inside of a dryer, I don't believe there is a single historical count of a step-sibling going to help them. And even if that did happen to... Okay, bro. Clip me. Clip me right... Where's my old clip? Where is my fucking... I'm going to send it to him. I'm going to send him the clip. That's crazy. Does anyone have the clip? Bar for bar? What the fuck? That's verbatim, dog. I'm suing for copyright infringement. <laughs> we have to have we have to have a fucking clip in the chat, right? Yes, I know G4 shut down. I saw, bro. I saw. I saw. I saw. I just want to see the clip. God damn. Usually we have no clip ever happened. Usually we have so many fucking what? Is this it? I'm fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Why do you guys always do this? The same way that I think you guys all. Okay, no, you're sending, no, I want the old clip from earlier in the day where I, this guy is like trying to get me to fucking watch some IAI clip. I want the old clip from earlier in the fucking day, not two minutes ago. Why, dude, sometimes, maybe my haters are right. I do sometimes think as a collective, like this community becomes incredibly fucking stupid. Like literally so stupid that they just like actually fucking, look at this. Bro, this is your own channel, bro. This is your own channel. You're sending me your, a clip from your own channel. Honestly, do you feel annoyed or proud that Lud is saying your taste? No, I just wanted a fucking meme. I wanted to make a meme about it. But like, it, it, and chat doesn't want to do it because it, it chats like, oh, we're not in a good, we're not in a mood where we want to fucking participate in the meme. They're just like, nah, fuck the meme. I'm going to literally make it my own thing. I'm going to do a poop sock link. I'm going to send you a poop sock link and shit. Or whatever I personally think is funny. It's just, it's like heckling, right? Like this shit only works as a back and forth. This shit only works when we have like a decent back and forth going on, a decent balance, right? And... And basically, what ended up happening is just people were like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I want to heckle right now. You want to try to provide you with content and you're baby raging because you're wearing your monkey? Man, there is content at the wazoo today. Shut the fuck up, idiot. 
I thought someone would have clipped it. A scam. If you think that porn stars, thank you, it's real. Thank you. Look at this. A scam. If you think that porn stars do not have you know, their own personal lives. If you think that they're like legitimately stepsister and stepbrother with one another, if you think that people are legitimately getting stuck in a fucking washing machine, uh, like unironically, uh, if you think that people are actually doing a backroom casting couch, for example, then yes. You know, then, then, you know, it is a scam for you because you're too stupid to understand that it's entertainment and should be consumed as such. And that when entertainers are done entertaining, they're human beings. And this, this oftentimes is a scam. If you think, if not even the right clip, it's the, this is the right one. It's not real. It's entertainment. Those people have fucking husbands and wives and shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's not. Like. Not to break your immersion, but like no one actually has ever been legitimately trapped in a washing machine. Okay. Holy fuck. I said the Johnny Sins thing too. It's so funny because now it's going to be like nonstop clips now going forward. He's never been in space. It's true. He's never done it. All right. He's never saved kittens out of a tree. He's not a firefighter. And I don't think he's ever delivered a damn pizza in his life. The same way that if someone is stuck inside of a dryer, I don't believe there is a single historical count of a step sibling going to help them. And even if that did happen to. He said for what? So much worse when you're a woman because of misogyny. And it's also infinitely worse on top of that. Okay. It's infinitely worse on top of that when you are a sex worker. And like everybody understands it. People don't fucking think that like Johnny Sins is an astronaut. You know? So much worse when you're a woman because of misogyny, and it's also infinitely worse on top of that, okay? Why is, oh, Lovey's watching me right now? I just sent him the clips. He mogul moved me. He mogled my ass. Fucking moguling, dude. He did say you got funnier. Maybe he's taking notes. Yeah, I think so. We already know Ludwig is a part of the Hassan Abbey Clips industrial complex. Let's be real. All right, let's continue with the Kardashians. And dollars and 10 years of research Woo. into simplifying our communities because there are no black, not just because there are no black owned communities, but just me as a black person, me as that's my, that's who I am in this video game of life. Mm -hmm. I, I like, I'm the tech person that's like, yo, we are one species, right? Mm -hmm. We're one being, Salud. there's no, Salud. Salud. That's it. Let's make real quick, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We are one species, take it from we the We're one but. You gotta sip it, it don't count. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. This drink chance. What's up? Oh, this is good, right? It's not Tucker Carlson. It's not good. Yes, G4 is shutting down. Comcast pulls the plug on G4 TV, ending comeback. Try for gamer focused network. Understandable. These companies have uh, deep wallets, but no way of, of adequately spending it and figuring it out. They should have listened to the content creators more, like Austin, 
like Will. Um, it's not the end of the world. People losing their minds over it do not realize that, like, I mean, I don't know if it's, it's dead. But what's really fucked up is they already did a mass firing. Like, think about like a month ago or something, right? <sighs> hey, this tweet is how I found out how I lost my job. How neat. That's crazy. G4 TV shuts down a year after its relaunch. You kiss Carl Jacobs on name or price and a whole network shuts down coincidence. I think not. It's not a coincidence. Dude, that's what happens in media. I got fired in radio multiple times and only because my car to the building didn't work, did I? Not, uh, that's just normal. It's not normal. It's not normal at all. It's really shitty business practice and they did it anyway. They did it that way anyway. So much work. Stands it. People don't fucking think that, like, Johnny Sins is an astronaut. <laughs> yeah, bro, I bit your shit bar for bar and did it better, all right? Welcome to the big leagues, dog. <laughs> Welcome to this fucking guy. He's even eating. He's even eating while he's doing this. I'm losing it. That's trademark Hasanabi content, dude. You'll be hearing from my fucking lawyers. I'm about to get litigious as fuck, dude. Anyway, let's continue uh, with this. Good morning, America. Oh, you said his name right this time. I said it right. <laughs> you is back in the culture, and guess what? Welcome back, baby. Hey. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Go, go Welcome ahead. Go back. Ahead. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a living mace rap. Yes, yes. Just listen to a mace rap and like if this was a person. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you yeah. know, Mason was going on tour, got canceled. They should have added you. I would get super canceled then. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't think like that. <laughs> no, got no, no, no. Super they would have canceled. the meanest five dates ever. So there they, you go. Yeah. Atlanta? They, Atlanta ain't canceling. You know, it's so funny that The Gap wouldn't put a store in Atlanta. What? I was born in Atlanta. What? All of, all of the freshest, like, you know what I'm saying? Me, Andre 3000, Playboy mm. Cardi, like, mm. all of the, like, freshest dress. Yeah. You know... Uh, influencers are like from Atlanta and stuff so that's that thing where people talking about you without you in the room mm. We that's the thing when we sign and do but these licensing brand, deals you're a brand though yeah they're yeah. supposed to talk about you a lot when you're not in the room yeah but that's when you sign to them they're seeing how they're gonna use you mm. so yeah. this was this is what alright break it down in um like simplest form for a record like so you, you wasn't signed to them you you this was a distribution deal this was like yeah a it was JV a, like a deal? license a deal okay and the funny thing is they think they could give me a baby b and you know the baby b the little, little it's the little a billion, billion. yeah but it's yeah. just like it's like a, a little baby billion it's like a little billion <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little billion it's a baby b Baby B. No, I don't know what that is. Yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you don't want it, we'll take the baby B. Yeah, but they think they could just like run us with a baby B. Little right. baby B. Um and and the funny thing is, mm. you know, they'll give me that and I'm I'm making, you know, more money than anybody that works at the gap. Mm. But you want the information. 
It's like a friend that caught your girl cheating, right? How much is it worth to have the actual information? Mm. And then he said it, but then she's lying, right? So if you actually had something on camera or a phone mm. or a text or a screen grab, what would that be worth to you? Mm. Let's say let's say you bought a car or something like that. Yeah. Wouldn't it be worth two cars just to have that text? Ooh. Just to have it? I remember I found out some information one time. It was on the Super Bowl. I literally found it at the time when Tom Brady was throwing a, throwing a touchdown. The audience was going like this. I was going like this. Yeah, I caught you now. You was lying the whole time. Like, no, what's about inflation? <laughs> What'd you say? The inflation when the ball was. No, inflated. not the inflation. Okay. This is a this is a later dating shit. Okay. So what I'm saying is, information is the most important resource to our species mm. above water. Because mm. with information, you can find water. Yeah. So Jewish people have information. Chinese people, it's not even information, it's intelligence, mm. right? Because what is the definition of the word nigga? Mm. Ignorant. So it's intelligence. So you see a human being that can be looked at or classified as a nigga that is cocooning or breaking out of a cocoon into intelligence mm. and bringing all of his niggas with him at the same time. Mm. And that is the way that we're gonna get free and come into our own power the way the Jewish people came into their power. Mm. And avoiding misinformation, which is more of. Misinformation, like like trauma economy, like the BLM. Uh. You know what I'm saying? When they, when they do BLM, when they do school shootings, the same amount of people getting killed every week in Chicago, but they're not posting that. They're not showing but, but, that. But, but why are you not posting that? Because oh. you're from Chicago. Barack Obama's from Chicago. He's what, from Hawaii. Oh, oh, what is that? No, he was born in Hawaii. He was born in Hawaii. Oh, you said Hawaii? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. but, but he made his chops in Chicago. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because... He's from Hawaii. That's the thing is... <laughs> the thing is, what's crazy is I, I noticed uh, uh, Clinton... When Clinton became into the administration, Little Rock, Arkansas became the most wildest place there was. And then when... It didn't start with him going I mean, to... I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. Rock was, all, was wild. The and George then, Floyd area, the free right. George Floyd zone that they made, the yeah. murder rate is up 50% since George Floyd. It's mayhem. It's, right. it's Mad Max. Yeah. That's made up. There's no saying. such thing. No, no. That's just what I'm saying. What, what happens with, to these cities when we have somebody so... Uh, um, illustrious becomes from this city and then now this city becomes the murder capital. Like, it seems, that's what it seems I like. I mean, but look, look at like Barack, you know, look at his hair color when he went in, look at the hair color when he went out. Yeah, yeah. everyone yeah. said, yeah. You know, like, because if you don't have the connections, you know, Trump had enough connections to make it into office, but he didn't have the Jewish media on his side. Because the Jewish media was already aligned with an agenda with the left, with the Chinese. Right. So you got like Alex, Alex Baldwin dissing, you know, Trump as soon as he went in, used to be his. Uh, we already heard this. Uh, if you're just tuning in, if you're tuning in now, um, he, he said this. I didn't realize he also fucking talked about Alex Baldwin, but he said Jewish and the Chinese agenda. Is it the Jewish agenda? And then he just said the Chinese. Okay, bro, yeah, just stop. Stop linking me this this copycat, all right? This boy, you got black people dissing Trump. Black people know they love Trump. Yeah. We used to like, we used to have raps. Guess who the black Trump? Mm -hmm. You know. <clears throat> but he so, could have been better at, at messaging. That's what yeah, he, I, I feel yeah. like. Like, the rhetoric was just unnecessary sometimes. It yeah. was, but it's that frustration. It's like, what I had to learn is, like, that thing I said with DEF CON, that was, right. like, me going Trump, you know, level. Right. Right. You know, that was... You can't... As you see, when we got warmed up, it's like a conversation where... Even in the beginning. We'll see if we right. want to use the stuff in the beginning. Right. If it's any of the, the messaging. Right, yeah, I definitely need another one. That we want to put out, you know. <laughs> you ain't got me going, man. Mm -hmm. The only possible way that I could have won, that, I, that I'm going to win, the only possible way is for me to early on call out the Jewish media this early, right? right. Because they'll play nice with you. 
But I see him fucking with me, like the SoFi Stadium, like 78 media outlets calling me an abuser based off something Trevor Noah said. Me being canceled from the Grammys. And me being said, they saying that I said a racial slur because I said, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya, uh, uh, talking uh, about Trevor Noah. Uh, and then they kicked me off the Grammys, and I was slated to win Album of the Year for my first for the first time in my life. Mm -hmm. It's my 10th album. It's the most number ones in, in Apple history. And I'm, you know, an incredible artist. It reached at this point. Right. And we don't even know who won Album of the Year. It got canceled by who? Jewish media. By the time 2024 runs around at Jewish media, they're going to be my friends because you can't just go into the White House like Trump did and have the entire American media against you. Mm -hmm. Because you can't get the work done. It's like having like a, a th three three million Meek Mills at one time. At all times, every time you're talking, it's just Meek Mills, Meek Mills, Meek Mills, just talking shit about you. And you're trying to, you know, show that. When the last time you heard North Korea? You know what I'm saying? Trump did that. Yeah. He came out to get... Wait, what? They, dude, North Korea today. This is, what, this is a thing that like people who are super narcissistic do all the fucking time. Where they just think like, well, I didn't hear about it. So it must not have happened. And it's like, no, it's still going on. People are still talking about it, like actively, regularly. You just are admitting that you're unfamiliar with the with the matter, which is not surprising. Literally, what the fuck is going on? Kanye West is going bananas mode, okay? He's just straight up on the timeline talking routinely and regularly now about how the Jewish media is controlling everything and the Jews are responsible for him being uh, ostracized. And that they own black people. Straight up. Just, he's going, he, he's going like half Hitler. Maybe full Hitler mode. He's going sicko mode. Um, bro, why are you using ableist language? I know, I, I apologize. I said bananas mode or sicko mode. It's just wild because you see how many people who are like geared up to start saying... incredibly racist shit incredibly anti-semitic shit you know what i mean they were very like so many people were like, even in this chat so many people even in this chat were just like well what do you mean what's the problem i don't know i mean he's just asking questions like there were fucking psychos in here earlier talking about how Kanye West was saying like Jews own uh, record labels like all the record labels are owned by Jews yeah, see yes yeah, see look 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 how excited these little fucking Nazis are for just a shred of relevance it's right and you know it he says based based Yay is right and you know it. Bro, if someone who is like very deeply experiencing uh, mental illness and like saying unhinged shit that is tarnishing his legacy and you're like, that guy, that, that's the guy I, I think is great. Like you should do some self-reflection. The difference between Kanye West and like a random guy that you see on the street yelling on top of a fucking soapbox is that the random guy didn't make graduation. Okay? That's the only difference at this point. The random guy at the subway station, you walk past and you're like, all right, well, unfortunate. I hope, you know, he gets mental health uh, treatment, like the adequate treatment he deserves is probably not going to happen because we live in a capitalist dystopia. Okay? 
and you walk past him and you never think about it again. With Kanye West, you're like, well, wait a minute. This guy's burst. He's not. Anyway. The saddest thing about this is to me that he says something kind of correct, like black people are systemically kept away from certain intel information. And then he goes off the walls and says, it's because of the Jews. Yeah, exactly. This is a very common thing. Fascist rhetoric, Nazi propaganda is very insidious. Insid insidious? I think it's the right word. Yeah. I, I said it right, I think. Okay. Um, I was thinking like, do you say insidious or you say insidious? Anyway, um, it looks at complex uh, societal uh, structures of oppression, openly states them as is, and then redirects just at the end to a group of people that you consider to be the, the villain, okay? All good conspiracy theories start off with a grain of truth. And that is, and, and Kanye West is the product. Kanye West is the goal. The goal is to get people like Kanye West to repeat that propaganda. And the way to hook people like Kanye West in is by correctly pointing out structural inequalities that black people have faced in America. And then be like, you want to know what the secret is? I'll tell you who's doing it. And it's especially... Uh, it, it's, it's, it's especially successful because Kanye West is a very successful capitalist. So he's already both conditioned into believing that the system works, but he has been brainwashed to believe that the system works. So we can't turn around and maybe say, maybe the system is broken fundamentally. Like the, the organization of the economy is broken fundamentally. He's not going to say that. He's a fucking billionaire. He's been taught his entire life that black excellence comes from, you know, a, a, a black person becoming uh, profoundly wealthy. More black billionaires. That's how you do it. You know? So, of course, it makes it even easier for right-wing populism to come in. <sighs> okay, boom. He did that. So I feel like that's like for me as a musician to mention the Jews is like North Korea for anyone else's career. And my dad said something to me because my dad was uh, proud of the shirt. He understood it. I was like, why you like that? He said, white lives matter. And he like to cry face, cry face. I said, why, why was that funny to you, dad? My dad don't know none of my rap lyrics, nothing mm -hmm. like that. He's political. He a genius. He like Steve Jobs. He got a water purification center in the DR. Mm -hmm. This nigga's smart, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, relax. Relax, yeah. Dominican people. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. So, so our, our focus is water, right? Mm -hmm. Our second most important research to uh, resource. Our second most important resource to knowledge is water. Mm -hmm. Our third is food. Our fourth is shelter. Can I, let me but, ask you: Have you seen that guy that that created that that system that gets water out of the atmosphere? Yeah, I met with him before, and we need that. We need every version of how we can take salt water, water out of atmosphere, but. Dude, I feel like when I think about these kinds of like interviews and podcasts and stuff, like they're right now, people who are like insanely ego maniacal weirdos are just popping. They're in their fucking talk shit era. I feel like you got Trump, Elon Musk, Kanye West. Like, I feel like everyone that's like blowing up, Andrew Tate. They love just rambling on, dude. And it doesn't even matter if you're a fucking dummy. It doesn't matter if you make no goddamn sense. You know what I mean? What matters is the top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of every hour. If you no longer want to see those fucking ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon account uh, to your to your Twitch account, right? Your Amazon Prime account, your mom's Amazon Prime account, doesn't matter. You can connect to your Twitch. You get one free Prime subscription a month and you can use it 
on me, your favorite broadcaster. You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Here's the one minute ad break now. Robot sabotage. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Here's the one minute ad break now, allowing five people to no longer see those motherfucking ads. Yeah, another one, another dumbass who's, you know, incredibly successful, even though he fucking rambles on. Non fucking stop is me. Of course, the difference is I try my darndest, try extra hard to make sense. You know what I mean? That's all I'm doing. Did she run over? What? Mirages rolled in. But right now in America, say one of the laws that I would change is it's illegal to collect rainwater in America. What? Illegal? It's illegal? It's illegal to co collect rainwater You go to every other country, they're collecting rainwater. <laughs> you know, people are controlling the water. You know, it's going to be, fuck a, what T-shirt you wear, what political opinion, and who got beef for who. Mm. You ain't got no water. Right. You ain't got no life. Right. I'm trying to tell you, because... <laughs> You know, a lot of people call me, they want to call me crazy. It's like, it's like running a marathon. If I got some short shorts on and a tank top and I'm sweating hard as hell, um, running down a street, running the wrong way down a, a freeway, then they, you're going to say that person is crazy. But if a hundred other people do it with me, mm, then it's yeah. a marathon. Mm. That's a good way to put it. Kill that. Yeah. Yeah. Kill that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some of the stuff, I'm the first person that's saying it. Right. Or Candace Owens is the first person that's saying it. Right. Then another person sees and say, I kind of feel you. Floyd Mayweather might say, oh, I feel you. And then mm -hmm. Steve Harvey might say, I feel where you're coming from. There's mm -hmm. a lot of black conservatives. You know, the liberal agenda is to take God out of the homes and separate the families. With that, you're gonna get mayhem. You're gonna get Mad Max on the other side. Mm. The conservative agenda is still, still that God runs the world. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> if people do it with me, mm. then it's yeah. a marathon. Mm. X Stray Dog, thank you for the tank of the subs. <laughs> Candace Owens is the first person that's saying it. Right. Then another person sees and says... Wait, Candace Owens is the first person that said what? <laughs> so some of the... You know what's funny? Candace Owens is not the first person to say anything. Candace Owens is not the first person to say anything. You guys are so fucking... I... What am I saying? You guys are so dumb. Kanye was so fucking dumb. Everything she's doing is just stolen verbatim from like... Fascist movements before her. You know what I'm saying? The stuff, I'm the first person that's saying it. Thank you, X, right. the stray Owens dog, the for the two, two, right. two ten gifted subs. Person sees allowing 20 people to know why that. Feel you. Floyd Mayweather might say, oh, I feel you. And then mm. Steve Harvey might say, I feel where you're coming from. There's mm. a lot of black conservatives. You know, the liberal agenda is to take God out of the homes and separate the families. With that, you're going to get mayhem. You're going to get Mad Max on the other side. Mm. The conservative agenda is still, still that God runs the world. And I, now I'm I mean, this is just not ever going to be disruptive, I think. You know what I mean? I, this is just conservative rhetoric. It's just so stupid. It like... I don't know. I've heard it so many fucking times. Maybe 
maybe it's not interesting or unique to me because I've heard it so many times. You know what I'm saying? Like time and time again, I have heard these words. My brain is so full to the fucking brim with this kind of idiotic sentiment being expressed over and over again that when I hear it again from Kanye West, it doesn't hit. Experts are saying this is his best take from the interview. Little Uzi, Uzi. little Uzi. Little Uzi, like, remember I said future? Yes, you, you said it on here. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's so it's a, it's a, it, well, really, you know what it is? It's always two. It's always two at a time. You know what uh -huh. I mean? It's really Cardi and Uzi. It's Ooh. really Cardi and Uzi. Playboy Ooh. Cardi and Uzi. We had Cravo and... I mean, you can, two wrongs don't, <laughs> sometimes you can have good takes in a sea of bad takes. But to be fair, I don't even know what little Uzi is doing now because I haven't listened to his music. JID is the current. Ask Aiden for Uzi. Uzi has a Glock in his purse. In their purse. I forgot my mistake. Thank you immediately, chat, for correcting me. Okay, all the mobile chatters are still coming in, informing me of my mistake. I'm, I'm Christian, and I feel like I got the best taste on the planet. So that's Jesus. I'm Jesus gang. Okay. But the Jewish people and the Muslims are all sons of Abraham also. And what Farrakhan would talk about right now is for the Jewish people, what I'm doing is I'm me too in the Jewish culture. What? I'm saying... Y'all got to stand up and admit to what y'all been doing. And y'all just got away with it for so long that y'all don't even realize what y'all doing. Mm. And it's like, y'all can't fuck with me either because y'all behind that gated fence. Y'all soft. Y'all hands got soft. You ain't out here getting beat up every day like me. You ain't out here getting called crazy every day like me. You ain't out here getting your family snatched like me. You ain't out here half your culture getting aborted like me. You ain't out here getting outraged with false narratives like BLM like me. So for all the Jewish media, y'all want to sit down and have a conversation with me? Then let's have a conversation. But you ain't going to send Harley Pasternak, Puff Daddy, Meek Mills, Kim Kardashian, none of the usual suspects, and get me to stop talking. You're going to have to take my life. I don't care if you black mirror me. I don't care if you do some of the alternative, what the thing was, show me talking, saying somebody didn't say. I don't care if you have me fucking a goat on camera. I don't care what you do. I mean, You're yeah. going to yeah. have <laughs> Yeah. On. And by the way. Bro, he's lost his fucking mind. He's saying that, like, Jewish media is going to put fucking deep fakes out there. Bro, is this a deep fake? They sadly are going to? What? Yeah, maybe after he said this, people are going to meme it. But not like a coordinated effort by Jewish media. What are you saying? Yo, this shit's scary, man. This shit is scary. No, I meant they're going to kill him. Wait, who is they? And no, no one's going to fucking kill him. What?
No, man, he's fucking paranoid. He's out of his mind. Away. And if you take my life, there's going to be some college kid, some young yay, some young Pac that's going to even go harder. It's going to y'all thought George Floyd was going to send it up. If you took my life right now, you're going to see something you never saw. So we might as well have a conversation because I love Let's you. I love I love. Bro, he wants to be he wants to be assassinated so bad. He's like, please, please let me be a martyr, except. Brother, if you got martyred right now, you'd be martyred for white supremacy. Like, that sucks. Like, I don't... And yes, he did... Sean, you are correct. He did... I caught that as well. He cor compared himself to Tupac. The media platform, and we love Jewish yeah, people. And we, we love Jewish people. We, Come yeah, on. we, you we, love we but I'm very mad. Yeah. I have a problem. <laughs> He's like, we, we, but I'm very, I'm very mad. I'm very mad at Jewish people. Is what he keeps saying. What the fuck? The conversation ain't over. It ain't okay, yay, clarify. It ain't nothing to be clarified mm -hmm. until we have a conversation. You got Jamie Lee Curtis on TV talking about, I hope they take his children away from him. Yeah. I'm surprised they did it. The revolt media didn't do this fact check here. Kanye, Kanye West says he's very mad at Jewish people. Fact check, true. Revolt media fact checks, guys. Kanye West says... <laughs> Jews control the media. Fact check. We looked into it, and it seems like they do. That's what Revolt Media did earlier today. Until we looked at it here, and then they uh, deleted it. It's up. Yeah, yeah. The queen is in the house. <laughs> but, 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 um, but it, it, can't, it can't be narrowed down to, like you're saying, there's... You're saying Jewish media, but it's the media. There's, there's, there's I, people I'm obviously. In, in, I'm in, not in narrowing ups. down. Right. I want Jewish children to look at their daddy and say, "Why is Jay mad at us?" Mm. I want all the kids that love my shoes and love my songs to say, "Why is Jay mad? What have you done to his people, to the darker Jews?" To our brothers right. that has Jay speaking up, that had Nick Cannon but speaking Jews, up, that had Ice Cube speaking up. What'd you say? Would you say blacks is Jews? Blacks then, are then Jews also. We gotta say we love Jewish people then. We love Jewish people. We love, we got, we got great. We got, I'm not Bro, he does not wanna say that. What the fuck? Yo, this is why I wanted to watch a longer version of this because <laughs> somehow it is significantly worse when you, like, I thought maybe we were watching like clips out of context. I thought we were probably watching like maybe some stuff that was like portrayed in a negative light. Nope. It is literally way worse to watch the full context where they're like, come on, we love Jews, right? Like at least say, come on, we're admitting we're, we're, we're even conceding to some of your theories and saying black people are Jewish, right? Just like you said, come on, just say we love Jewish people. And he's like, he said, I love Jews. Okay, people. so I'm gonna be like my how? homie's a Nicaraguan Jew. His dad came from Poland, he escaped the Holocaust, and his mom is Nicaraguan. And, and he would be like, I don't know what's going on. And, and by the way, we haven't escaped the Holocaust. We still in it. Plan mm. B, mm. Planned Parenthood. We are still in the Holocaust. Even the even the information put in our music, the right. toxicity put in our music, mm -hmm. is nothing promoting the idea of a king taking care of a queen and then taking care of the future kings and the future queens. It's just mm. us talking about killing each other and Jewish people getting paid off of it. Mm. So I could be like a parent that I got a belt, so it's like, bow, I love you, but bow. Yeah. It's I love you, but it's still up. It's mm. up until we get it fixed. Until we get it fixed, it's not. No I, I feel like people are gonna. Oh my God, I feel like this is this is dangerous, man. This is so fucking dangerous.
I don't think we've ever had someone this popular with this level of prominence talk about anti-Semitic conspiracies like the way that he is so openly on so many fucking large stages. Like this is this is the type of shit that, you know, this is like not allowed in Germany. You know what I mean? We have moved way beyond. Bringing back every 2012 talking point. Tell us about the Bohemian Grove, Mr. West. I mean, I don't think this is like, at first I wanted to laugh about this a little bit. You know what I mean? Take this like, take this not as seriously, laugh about it because it's like insane ramblings of a madman. But I feel like this is, this is genuinely dangerous. Bro, come on, bro. Bobby Fisher, like, are you joking? Did you just compare Bobby fucking Fisher to Kanye West? Kanye motherfucking West? What the fuck? Bro, that's like a chess dude. What do you mean? Like, Twitch streamers are more relevant than fucking Bobby Fischer, dog. What are you talking about? I know he had fucking crazy anti-Semitic takes. I'm saying that, like, we, I don't think I've ever, in my, in my lifetime at least, ever seen someone with this level of national prominence, like this big of a platform, say such overtly anti-Semitic things. Like an example basically is like Mel Gibson, maybe. Right? But Mel Gibson was in private and he like, he was ostracized for it. Like Kanye West is just out and about on massive podiums, screaming this shit out. And it's overt too. Like it's not even covert. It's not even subtle. He's just straight up saying it. That, that is kind of crazy. He's going to full Andrew Tate. You know how Andrew Tate is like, Andrew Tate just went full-blown, unshackled misogyny, right? Like, he would just go way mask off. And that actually gave him a lot of clout. That actually allowed him to make it seem like, you know, he was saying these hidden truths or whatever. And he blew the fuck up. He got a platform for saying those things. With respect to anti-Semitism and what Kanye is doing, Kanye already has the platform and is now saying these things. It's a little bit different. The analogy, though, is that Kanye West's unshackled anti-Semitism is identical to Andrew Tate's unshackled misogyny. Problem, brother. Are you leaving? <sighs> Dude, I, 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 this is so wild and it's so wildly irresponsible. I don't think even Ben Shapiro could defend it. No, oh, we gonna calm down because you done fucked with me and you done fuck with women exist. God does not fuck freedom of persecution for religion. So dumb, brother. If you think anti Semitism is just about fucking shitting on religion, you're fucking bananas. What are you, the Sam Harris of anti Semitism instead? What I would go so far as to say anti Semitism has nothing to do with religion. Fuck it, I'll say it. 
anti-Semitism is unironically probably out of like all, just like Islamophobia has nothing to do with religion. Islam is a racialized component. The fuck do you mean? That's just something people who want to shit on religious, uh, uh, shit on like a group of people say to justify it. The fuck does anti-Semitism have to do with like the Jewish religion? It has nothing to do with the Jewish religion. When, when motherfuckers say Jews control the banks, what the fuck does that have to do with religion? Nothing. When people say Jews control the media, that has nothing to do with religion. You think that's like a religious fucking criticism? No. That's crazy. My people, too much. Mm. And you could throw whatever tag you want. You could call me a racist. You could you, you didn't call me everything already. Right. What I got to lose? My six-year-old son came to choir practice and said, why I got to sing? I'm not even going to your school. This is a, a billionaire with the, a male billionaire with the face of Kim Kardashian. If he's saying that to me now, who is he at 16? Who is he at 26? By 26, he might be in jail because I can't say nothing to him because they right. took me out the house. Deep. All right, definitely needs you, bro. Do, do we dare do quick time with slime? Yeah, do we dare uh, do it, you say? Quick time with slime. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Yay, know our show is about celebrating. He, he celebrated and he do, he, we doing both. This is what I'm talking about. But, yeah, this is why, you know, look, look, look. This is quick time. You played this game is before. Is this do say in here? That should be. It should be do say. It's a black man drink, yeah. goddammit. Yeah. Drink it up. This do say is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> This do say this this do say is brought to you by my brother Hove. That's right. Yeah. Brother Hove. Brother Hove. Oh. Courtesy of the throne. That's right. That's right. Part two throne. coming soon. Hey, hey. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh. All right, go. Dude, dude, they switched speeds so quick that was crazy. Like he just didn't say a whole bunch of anti-Semitic shit. They just fucking boop, switched off. They're like, all right, let's switch gears away from anti-Semitism for a second. He explained him the rules of the game. Mm -hmm. He knows, he he knows, knows the rules of the game. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's quick time with slime. We're going to give you two choices. We drink. Drink, drink, drink. You drink. Goes good after a workout. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like my name a little bit, my older name. Wait, let, let, he was going to explain Kanye. the, the yeah, big explain. pun. And... No, but you know, Jay Electronica hit me. He was like, yo, I actually wrote with Nas before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I... Dude, is, you know what's funny? is like he, he's doing the, the conspiracy theory bingo. Farrakhan, Jay Electronica, Candace Owens. Like, literally, it's like a, it's like a, like a calling card, dude. He's got everybody. Love that. He he hit everyone. I said Nas over Jay Electronica. So, what? you know, God said for us to not compare each other amongst ourselves. Mm. So when I compare the greatness of Kooji Rap and the greatness of uh, Big Pun. Which was inspired by Kooji Rap. I'll yeah. Pun, then, yeah. then it's not godly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know Ross said God forgives. I don't. You know, I'm, I'm forgiven. I, I forgive everybody. I, I forgive the, the Clintons. I forgive uh, John Legend for wearing them bum ass sweaters. Um, I forgive. Well, I forgive him. He's forgiven. <laughs> Big Sean, forgive me. May they all be forgiven. <laughs> I forgive Big Sean. Uh, I forgive Big Sean for not being able to make the choice between braids or a beard. Choose one. Uh, I forgive. Uh, <laughs> 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 Who else do you forgive? That's it. 
Everybody, everybody I ever, you know what I'm saying? Right. I forgive everyone. Right. I forgive Bob Iger. I forgive the left party. I forgive, I forgive the Jewish media for creating the Ye's uh, crazy narrative. And I mean, he's just throwing that out. Like this, we went from, dude, we went from like, oh, did he mean it? Did he not mean it? What's going on to like just, just throwing the hard J. He just can't stop talking about the Jewish media. It's crazy. It's it's completely insane. <clears throat> what? You almost said Jew, but he corrected early on. What do you mean Jew? Oh, you mean he almost said Jew, but corrected early on. Yeah. I can't. I, I don't know. <laughs> like... It's like he can't stop saying it. Until he says something about Israel, it's not an anti-Semitic for Republicans, except I don't want him to say anything about Israel because, like, he is anti-Semitic. You know what I mean? You don't want someone like Kanye West saying anything about Israel, okay? No, he isn't. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? 56 minutes in, and he's talked about, like, Jewish media, I think, a hundred times. What is anti-Semitism, then? Are you all right? What the fuck? It's like people literally are ironic. This is ironic because like this bigotry is very similar in the, in the way that it works, right? A lot of white supremacist people will say, oh, well, did they say the N-word? Or while they were saying the N-word, was it with a hard R? Or while they were saying the N-word with a hard R, were they actually lynching a black person actively? Like they always look for a, a new goalpost to, to declare someone racist and that goalpost never comes. Okay? And the same goes for people now trying to defend Kanye West's anti-Semitism. Well, uh, he said Jew media, but, like, uh, he thinks black people are Jewish. Like, did he actually actively do an anti-Semitic hate crime against a Jewish person? Uh, just, just simply invoking the imagery of white supremacy is not enough. Was he, was he doing it while actively punching a Jewish person? No. Like, you don't have to do the Holocaust literally to be anti-Semitic. You're crazy. You know, uh, buying up the black voice and bullying us and, and creating a mob culture to scare people that any time they bring up that a contract was wrong is labeled anti-Semite as a way to disable people from their truth. I forgive the Jewish culture for that. Okay. All right, next. <laughs> Wait, he forgave the Jewish culture for what? Anti-Semite as people that ain't up the black voice, crazy narrative. I forgive the Jewish media for creating the Ye's uh, crazy narrative and, you know, uh, buying up. Bro, you're literally, like, doing that right now. <laughs> He's just like, I can't believe it's the Jews that are, <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm doing insane anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, I can't believe it's the Jews that are responsible for me doing crazy anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. At this point, the only reasonable explanation for this is that Hitler particles have not fully ir ir what irradiated Kanye West. My scientific theory is that Candace Owens and Tucker Carlson's latent Hitler particles. What? Hey, dude, I can't even understand what you're trying to say there. Up the black voice and bullying us and, and creating a mob culture to scare people that any time they bring up that a contract was wrong is labeled anti-Semite as a way to disable people from their truth. I forgive the Jewish. No, man, it's anti-Semitic that you're saying it's the Jews at fault for your fucking shit contract. That's the problem. 
I talk about predatory contracts in the music business all the fucking time. Nobody says I'm anti-Semitic because I'm not weirdly blaming all Jews for the, the, the wrongful actions of capitalism. Like, that, that's fucking insane. Like, just don't say it's Jewish people doing it. And people won't say you're anti-Semitic. No, people say I'm anti-Semitic because I criticize Israel. And most people know that that's fucking bullshit, okay? <laughs> like, that's entirely separate. culture for that okay all right next <laughs> uh, all right next, <laughs> next question, next question, next question. <laughs> all right next question okay mm -hmm. college dropout or late registration okay so a census but you know i'm gonna say that and then there'll be fans that like means this to me i'm gonna say that i feel that my two offerings that i was the least enthusiastic about Yo, he said college dropout or late registration after he said, I forgive the Jews for creating conspiracy theories about giving me fake uh, shitty contracts and then saying I'm anti-Semitic for calling it out. I can't. These segues are insane, bro. They're just going, fine, let's keep the ball moving, dude. <laughs> like, not even a brief moment of like, hey, man, maybe you shouldn't say that. That seems kind of crazy. I'm skipping this shit. Obvious. Like, drunk side down. Yes, I am, G. You on point, G.A.? Which one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, wait, we didn't, we didn't answer that. No, he is. Down my body was that baseline. Because you days. Think about my personality, right? It's mm. on the world. That's me every time yeah, I do it. Theory. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Mm. Don't. I'm your now every single bitch want to see me. Like, America's most wanted. Yeah, the, you know what the leftists say about they they still call me Kanye West. But the, what the leftists say about Ye is he's dangerous because he's rich. Mm. What did what did I mean? What did Little Kim say? What did Pac say? Mm. You know, I'm thinking about like money, power, respect. How yeah. did she start the song? Key to life. Yeah. Money, power. First you get the money. Yeah. Then you get the power. Yeah. And, then you get and that's the whole thing with the Jewish media. My thing is, hey, I love Irvin Azoff. Y'all just got to respect. What? Bro, I skipped through the only parts where he was talking about his music. We, it was a three-minute skip. Wait, there's no fucking way he spoke this much about what the fuck? Dude, dude, this is, dude, I like that he was like, oh, I met Deathcon 7 or Deathcon 3 and I was, you know, I was going to do it. Well, he did. This is him going Deathcon 3, I think. Ben Shapiro tomorrow is going to be like, you know, <laughs> I'm noticing a lot of people with Jewish last names in positions of power in the media. What Kanye West is saying is actually, hypothetically speaking, not that wrong. And you should be able to say it. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. How many times did he say Jewish media in this entire interview so far? I've never actually seen. I've never. Like, this is like, Richard Spencer doesn't talk about the Jews this much, man. What the fuck? No, it's crazy. Like, bro, 
even out and about Nazis are like, okay, Kanye West, calm down a little bit. Even out and about Nazis know like the way to cut propaganda, you got to like hide it a little bit. You got to like uh, make, you know, make it more, make it more palatable to a broader audience. Kanye is just like, nah, just saying it. All we're saying, Kanye needed a black woman to save him and manifest it Candace Owens. <laughs> I'm not. That's. Me and my people in a different kind of way. Where are you? And the Jewish people, after the Holocaust, they said it's never again. And they went and they got their respect. And I respect Jewish people for that, right? But we in the championships of life, right? And I'm telling the Jewish people like this. I need my ring too. I'm the best out here. I'm getting my fourth ring, just like how Curry said. Right. That's what y'all need to understand. Right. We gonna pull these people together. Puff told me today, he texted me, he said, buy a bank. I said, I don't know how, can you show me? Killer so Mike the next got a bank. time. Yeah, bank with the, that blank. Yeah, Killer Mike got a bank? Yeah, yeah, yeah Mike got a bank in, in Georgia. Right? Okay, I mean, there yeah. we go. So now we sharing the information. Right. That's how we gonna get it. So the next time you see me and Puff together, we gonna be buying a bank. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah. And, and wait, and to clarify, because you said on an anti-Semite vibe, meaning that that's what they're saying that you are on. They're saying not that because you're, you're not saying you're I'm, not, I'm not anti-Semite. On, but they said we a nigga, and we started to believe it. You know, they said right. we crazy. They said I'm crazy. Started to believe it. So whatever you want to call me, I'm gonna embrace that and keep moving. I'm gonna just be like a snowball. When a snowball's going down a hill, it don't say I can't accept this tree. I can't accept this snow. I can't accept this du- this dirt. I'm gonna take the tree, the snow, the dirt, and just get bigger till I roll over your ass. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's one way of explaining it. How do we go to this, this next one? <laughs> Biden or Trump? I mean, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he says both. <laughs> I just don't understand. Yeah, uh, Montana Jacks, you're right. Lol, dude was like, Jews are evil, but I respect the hustle and I want to have the control of the world I think they do. Yeah, that you, you summed it up perfectly. He's saying like, listen, Jews control the media. They're doing a good job of controlling the media and the banks and I want to control the media and the banks like they do. It is like mathematically the worst thing you can say. Like you're, you've arrived at all the bad parts of this conversation and chosen the actual, like if this was a choose your own adventure, he chose the worst talking points. Because I went to sleep and acted like I was dead, that I was saying Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. I said that, I said that on the last episode. I didn't come out yet. I didn't say that. Let me tell you what. I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> We're never going to get fooled again. Kamala Harris is our never again. When, she, when they added her in as the vice president, the Democrats got 96% of the black female vote. You would have thought Drake. Wait, what? Bro, the Democrats were already getting 96% of the black female vote. What the fuck is that take? What? Like, that's just because the alternative is motherfuckers like you. <laughs> the alternative is people literally saying white supremacist shit. That's it. It's just defensive voting. Not 96 what are you talking about? The Democratic Party black female vote is literally 90 plus percent. Like historically. It's been 90 plus percent. That, that is just a, you know, it's just a thing. Black women definitely voted for Trump in 2016. Wait, what? Okay, that doesn't... That doesn't mean anything. Like, yeah, you can still have black women vote for the conservative party. That doesn't change the statistic. 96% means there's still 4%. 
What? But it's just 4%. Was running. Mm-hmm. Jesus. <laughs> Kamala Harris is our never again. We're never gonna be fooled just because you put in this like very attractive. I am single, Kamala. Now. You... <laughs> she got weird. Go ahead. Go ahead, Yay. You, you, you want that one? You like a Kamala? Kamala fucked up. He left the bar. Oh, I'm hollering though. <laughs> We, we, we won't talk about politics. Oh, we just gonna hang and drink some douce. We don't come on. Come on, we ain't gonna do shit. What's up? What's up? I don't know. I don't wanna say. I don't wanna say boozy line. Bro, the clips that didn't make it onto the timeline from this interview are worse. Like that one. Okay. Straight up, the clips that didn't make it onto Twitter are worse. The fact that he said like. Jews more than a hundred times in an hour long sequence. Insane. How do you even clip all of that? Holy fuck. Nah, no, what I'm saying is I might buy a house. Once you're my girlfriend, you're always my girlfriend, Kamala. What? what? Jesus. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know where this was going. <laughs> I didn't know this was going. <laughs> and I know why I'm she gonna watch it. She gonna wanna go, oh well. Oh well, you know, well yeah, yeah, I was actually looking at the spot in Napa and <laughs> Oh my god. No, we're oh, all we're all we're all we're all right. Next next question. <laughs> where where yeah at this weekend? Oh, he what did Napa? he pick? <laughs> he did he no, he obviously well, he did obviously pick Trump, right? <laughs> Biden and Trump. I, I, yeah, Trump. Okay, he cool. Okay. He, uh, he cool for now. Oh, uh, <laughs> he cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Maybe neither of those works there too. All right. Dungeon Family or Wu Tang Clan? Oh, you know, I, see, it's ungodly. <laughs> <laughs> Wu Tang. Wu Tang. What? Come on, man. This is like Tony Stark's. I looked at the transcript for Jew, Jew, Jewish, Jews, and it was uttered 344 times approximately. Throughout the entire fucking thing. 344 times. You know he's not talking about apple juice. His house and, you know, just the energy and just right. the positivity and everything. Right. And just, we got, also, we got more records together. Mm. We got grand. He said it twice at Moe's. Wait, what? Brother, have you been watching the same thing that we've been watching? He definitely didn't see it to say it twice at most. Family, family together. Mm. We got recently. You yeah, did the remix joint, right? Uh. Eminem. You got a record with Eminem on it. That's yeah, yeah, but you never know, about you know the, all the time when I thought me and Kim were gonna get a divorce, like throughout our relationship, I always thought about. Um, Big boy, man, he really told me what it really was when I choose you. Mm. Oh, Jamal Outcast. I was thinking Jamal yeah, Big Boy Radio. Like, okay. your baby's mama, mama don't like me. Uh, they try to come to the studio, try to kind of fight me. And, oh. blah, blah. and oh, then that's, he said, Sorry, Miss Jackson, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. but then yeah, also yeah. he says, Better pick the right one to pick, pick the kitties up. Mm. And the whole time, I'm like, This this rap is just coming, rolling through my head like a mantra mm. of what it, you know, so. And I still be in my head like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe one day our family could get back together. You know, like Shelly Azoff left Irvin twice. Oh Shelly left God. twice. Oh, what's about Irvin Magic Johnson? No, Irvin Azoff. Oh, I don't even. I, that's you know, that's I'm Kim's. Low. That's. Kim. <laughs> I'm that, black, black. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm a ba original. baby bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ur Urban Azoff is a. Watch this. I'm not even saying this to, to to backtrack. This is a good friend of mine. He's a mentor of mine. He's basically the same video game character as me, and he's Jewish. And his wife is 
uh, they're, they're like, uh, Kim is like their goddaughter. And his wife is somebody that Kim always looked up to also. But Irvin Azoff ran MCA Records. Okay. And he merged, I think it was Ticketmaster and Live Nation. Oh, it was shit. something that people had never seen done. He's building this giant. This is why he shits on Jews instead of capitalism, okay? Because he thinks it's a good thing that Ticketmaster Entertainment and Live Nation were merged, okay? Do you understand now? Because, like, he himself is a capitalist. The people that he idolizes are capitalists. The, art, the, the, the system analysis or the problems that he analyzes are, are, are problems that arise under capitalism. But because he doesn't recognize it, that those are problems that have risen as a consequence of capitalism, he just has to turn around and be like, oh, man, I just you know, fucking, you know, it's the Jews probably. like sphere in vegas the, this performance venue mm. is incredible and he's like really yeah this is the other side of that irony of course yay is blaming the jews for the systems of capitalism which is funny because capital is used to blame them for communism which by the way and good take here which by the way of course is is how fascists did it it's the exact same way that fascists did it Fascism was a mechanism of control when the underlying contradictions of capitalism became so obvious, especially when the assembly line was introduced, especially in the immediate aftermath of the Industrial Revolution where people had uh, more of an opportunity to organize. So they saw that and they were like, oh, we got to stop this shit. We got to stop this shit immediately. We got to figure out a fucking way to, uh, I don't know, uh, keep this shit in control. And that has never really gone away. Sorry, I disrespect the A. He actually only mentioned the Jews 114 times, not 344. A grave mistake, my friend. He only mentioned Jews on this podcast a very normal 144 times, not 344. Uh, which is, of course, once again, a very normal amount of times to mention uh, Jewish people and Jewish media. <laughs> 145 is the cutoff. Everybody knows. That's when things get, that's when things start to get borderline anti-Semitic in the words of, of Ben Shabibo. Just somebody I always look up to. And every every time, you know, I go up on Instagram and I'm going to get my contracts, I always say this is the spirit of Ice Cube and this is also the spirit of Irving. Because mm -hmm. Irving, like, when he had, like, you know, he, he was a legend, you know. I, I think he had some where somebody was messing with Shelly and he, like, broke their car and he, like, threw a... Threw a, uh, a a gallon of piss in the car or some shit like oh some like real like proper like wow loud shit like some shit I'll be on you know okay so I just think like <laughs> you say he's, he's passed though because you said he no he's not passed uh, no he's living so you still you still talk to him yeah so what says being he's your Jewish friend what does he say to you anything in terms of what's going on I'm sure he's reading the paper like laughing uh, thinking it's funny and shit thinking uh, it's lit thinking it's that uh, because like who lit who lit right tell me who lit I know, I want to know. Like Drink it, Champs lit. Who lit? Yeah, it's like Drink Champs lit. <laughs> Drink Champs lit. <laughs> Hold on, boy. Um, only built for Cuban links. 
or the infamous? Yes, only people forget. I only had, had to hit rest. I didn't get hit rest. Come on, the infamous. Only people forget. The infamous. Okay, okay, okay. okay. They, both, they both super classics. <laughs> only people Cuban links. You going with that? Sticking with that? And the infamous is the other one. The infamous is the other one. Both Ball super classics. I, re I remember Havoc came to my crib. <laughs> You know, because famous, we played early. Havoc did the drums for that. I made that bitch famous. I made that bitch famous. Uh -huh. I, uh, mm -hmm. Now, before the Me Too movement, I, me I remember I had it, and the lyrics said, uh, you know, there's a lot of movements out here. <laughs> right. you know, the, the movements is the treadmill hustle. Right. So, um, so Havoc came on my crib, and it's always like, Drake is like, I got the big. Ludwig leaked the video. Was it pulsing? Oh, did he leak the video of, of me originally uh, sending the bidet? Please release the full 10 minute video taking a shit. No, I, I didn't actually send him a video taking a shit. Just six seconds of you saying my asshole is getting blasted right now. It's pulsing. <laughs> What the fuck? It's not 10 minutes long. He's such a liar, dude. Why is he like this? Release the Hassan cut. The only cut you get is a 60 second cut at the top of the hour. When there's time for a 60 second ad break at the top of the hour. If you no longer want to see those fucking ads, baby, all you need to do is subscribe. Which you can do. For $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your fucking Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your favorite broadcaster. Hopefully that's me. Toes! XX, thank you for the five gifted subs allowing five people to no longer be yeah, ads. I use mine on Ludwig. You can't use yours on Ludwig. He's not on this platform anymore. Speed Racer, thank you for the five gifted subs. And Taco Dam, thank you for the five gifted subs. Here's the woman at right now. Like a pool, I got this, that, that, blah, blah. You know, uh, Corey asked me, was he with the baby mama? Drew Roddy, thank you for you the know, 10. So, um, I, uh, <laughs> This is true. I have no reason to lie. So, and, and I don't like Corey, so I have no reason to lie for him. The, uh... What is happening right now? Are we getting your ass? I'm eating my asshole tickle gently right now. It's pulsing. You broke my bathroom, but I... <laughs> How do you not put that in the video, by the way? That's fire. Can we admit, can we recognize that that's fire? I gave him gold and he just fucking cut it, dude. <laughs> like, this man saw gold and was like, I'm going to keep this for myself. Toes XX, thank you for the five, get the subs. The man gives me a play-by-play -play of his shit. Every fucking second of the shit, he's talking about it. That will not see the light of day, all right? That, it cannot. It cannot. We cannot be hearing about Hassan's titillated. You gave him gold. He gave you mold. Yeah, literally. This man does not understand. Pulsating asshole. We just can't be hearing about that shit. <laughs> You're selling bidets, homie. You're in this, okay?
You have to cut the rest because of your takes on Jewish media later in the clip. <laughs> okay, we can't be joking about that. <laughs> That's not right. Not not this close to Kanye West. Okay, too soon. Oh my god, dude. The no, the thing is, the funny thing is, I actually do like Corey because it's his job to be likable. Uh, that's how he makes it in like that. So um, I asked Havoc, I was like, yo, did you ever have like a Drake or somebody? He was like, yeah, Wu Tang. Oh, oh wow. Wu Tang was Mob Deep's Drake. Wu Tang was Mob Deep's Drake. Mm. I never thought about that. Mm. And they would get influenced, they'd be influenced. So think about Draka. Drop a gem on them. Right. Mm. That's post Wu Tang. Yeah. Mob yeah. Deep. Hang up home. Mm. Drop a gem on them. Mm. The uh, also what I'm doing is for Prodigy too. Mm. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Illuminati peace, prodigy. on my mind, soul, and my body. No. Secret society trying to keep that eye on me. He was saying a lot. Are we making some noise for that? I feel like we should make yeah, some noise yeah. for that. Rest in peace, the peace. Okay. Um. I think this is, it's just like repetitive and boring at this point. Oh, this is, I wanted to see some of the highlights though. There were more highlights. What you rap about? Try to run up on me. No. I want, I want y'all to come kill me. No. I want you to smack me. No. I want you to do all the shit you rap about. No. All, hold on, no, all the shit you rap about. I want all the shit you rap about. I want you to come do it now. Come down to this joint right now, please, please. Or otherwise, shut the fuck up. Gotta run up on me. No. I, want, I want y'all to come. Kanye talking about the MAGA hat. Kim Kardashian told Ye, wearing the hat is small dick energy. Lol. Talking about the wa wa vaccines he's wilding. Would they support me? I got to say something about the hat. That's one of the things that really drove me to the edge. Some of the MAGA hat. The MAGA quick, hat. Right? Imagine your own wife telling you, all oh, the hat, small dick energy. Meanwhile, the Clintons got them trying to get people to get vaccinated. Mm. I know somebody, I'm not going to say his name, where Kim and Chris got on the phone with them trying to get them to push the vaccination to black people. Wow, that's really fucked up, man. I can't believe that. Bro, you're vaccinated. Like, what? Wow. Man, that's so fucked up that that mega famous celebrities were were not only on board with mass vaccinations, but we're also trying to actively help the black community. That's really fucking, wow. <laughs> it's crazy that Kanye West literally built the Kim Kardashian brand into a, you know, fashion powerhouse almost, right? Like he personally, he personally did that and is now still making Kim Kardashian look good. Also, this is the second time that Kanye West is not denying the small dick allegations. That's just one completely irrelevant point, but it is a true point regardless. But I don't understand. Like, does he have a contractual obligation to make Kim Kardashian look good? How is this happening? I ran the ad break already, didn't I? I did. Yeah, seven minutes ago, I ran it. He's hung. It was on Donda Live. We saw it all. Not to be a weirdo, but you can Google Kanye's dick. Pause. What? <laughs> that's, what, that's what someone just said in the chat. Sometimes I shouldn't read that. Meaning that's how in tuned and how aligned with the Clintons but, that the Kardashians were through Corey, no. through Corey. 
Would they support me? I got to say something about the hat. That's one of the things that really drove me to the edge. Some of the MAGA hat. The MAGA clear, hat. Right? Imagine your own wife telling you, all oh, the hat. With Pete because he got a bigger dick. Kim is with Pete because he got a bigger dick. Why are you talking about another man dick mm. on camera? Nothing you got ready. to deal with. Kim is with Pete. <laughs> That's probably one of the best clips of this kind is tired of the one piece is real cock memes. They want to talk. Most insane thing Kanye said. I don't know why nobody on Drink Champs didn't try to correct him at all, but he said the cop that killed George Floyd wasn't even really on his neck like that and that he died by fentanyl. He learned this in the Candace Owens doc. We already covered that. Big respect to LeBron and Maverick Carter for not airing the Kanye West interview. They did it for uh, the shop. It probably would have just been this. Wait, Will had another one. Lives Matter. What is this one? This one's about... Uh, we made the White Lives Matter tease, mm. and then when I put up the, the tweet, the DEF CON tweet, now nah, he, ain't, he ain't releasing the tea because mm. he's Jewish. Mm. And I'm like, see, this is my exact point that I'm mm. making. Mm. Like, Jewish people have owned the black voice, mm. whether it's through us wearing a Ralph Lauren shirt oh, we did or it's all of us being signed to a record label or having a jewish manager or being signed to a jewish basketball team mm -hmm. or doing a movie on a jewish platform like disney mm -hmm. and we understand it's like I, I i respect what the jew jewish people have done and how they brought their people together mm -hmm. you know they came into money uh through the lawyers mm -hmm. when uh after wall street when um yeah, we did see this. It was just bananas. Lee Merritt, the attorney who represented George Floyd's family, so the family's considering a lawsuit over Kanye's comments. Yeah, I mean... Just absolute fucking insanity. This is the unseen clip. Be honest. I gotta be honest. <laughs> so... But when you wear the White Lives Matter shirt. This one was not released, right? This one was like leaked. It kind of takes away from everything from black people. Because what it is is like the same way you wore the uh, Confederate flag. Confederate flag. And we're like, damn. And I know you. I love you. <clears throat> I focus you. You my brother. So I, I, I take this, and I'm a real nigga, and I'm a real nigga in the streets every day. But even me, I question, like, why would you try to, like, even when you said, you know, George Floyd, and you said, George Floyd, like, like, like and you said, I could prove that somebody was, wasn't on his neck. We don't even care about that yet. Because we don't care. But, 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 let me finish. What? We, we black people, we, we, we black panthers, we fucking, the people that you gotta fuck with. You, we, we fucked with you when it was time for you to say that it's the fuck with you. We want to continue to follow you. We do. You are yay. But when the white lives matter, we know white lives matter. We know that. I, but, but black lives matter when when it, when we are getting killed every fucking single day. We have to notice that. But since that happened, we haven't got killed less. We got killed more. Bro, he's trying to debate Lord this dude who even with all of his like incessant dick riding has like a moment of fucking honesty where he's like, what the fuck are you doing? Man to man. He literally is just like, man to man, what are you doing? You're fucking up. Like the bare minimum in this conversation, the first sign of like pushback. And even that's being done in a sea of positive affirmations that are directed towards Kanye that he does not deserve. He thought that he was going to have a heart to heart moment.
And and Kanye's just like, nope, I'm going to do debate learning, okay? Mm. Like, just like an ounce, dude. That's not even pushback. It's just like, he's like, how could you do this? We broke more shit up. You got to say, it's like, what I'm doing is tight jeans. If you think about the mo, if you think about a Meek Mill's outfit and you picture him, you're going to picture him in some tight jeans. But the same mentality... What? What? I did bring up Meek Mills uh, a bunch of times. Um, <clears throat> I think Meek Mills uh, tweeted about him or, or said something on, a, on his Instagram. Where he was like, I fuck with Kanye. Kanye got me through some hard times. I think it's ridiculous, like, what he's doing. You know what I mean? He just, like, said a bunch of shit like that. By the way, the reason he's so obsessed with Meek Mill is because there are rumors Kim K and Meek Mill had sexual intercourse. Oh. Would have been Beanie telling me and Pharrell to come out the closet because he was wearing tight jeans back in the days. Yeah. And then I got on tape. I say, yo, don't try me like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm on Sephora shit. And now me and Beanie, we good. Like, everybody know I'm Michael. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. no one, there's no one like... No one, you know what I'm saying? But so guess what? I agree. <laughs> it's like, I agree. Yeah, but yeah. can can you talk? Can you can you let me talk? Yeah. And yeah. but look, I agree. I agree with everything you say <laughs> about the tight jeans but and Meek Mill. We're really getting killed out here, yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen. We're really getting killed out here. Our little brothers, our God the, bless, God bless our the children. T-shirts listen, not gonna on. change it. You have though. you have children named you have children yeah. named Nori, Chicago. Imagine Nori in Chicago comes to you and says, yo, they call me a nigga. And then Nori says to you, well, why they call me a nigga? And they say, because they said black lives didn't matter. No, no. no White lives no, matter no, doesn't sweetly. mean that black lives don't matter. Yes. Right. That's, that's the thing. What that's, we, that's, yeah. that's, that's the what conversation. We need you to say. That's the conversation. That's yeah. what we need you to say, yeah. Bro, what the fuck? They're trying so hard to like, they're on an excavation mission, okay? They're like, please just say something that's like remotely, remotely decent. Please, like we're begging you. You've been talking about Jews for three and a half hours. Please just say something like decent for once. Because <coughs> like, are you capable of saying something that's decent? And he didn't even, he couldn't even no, get no. it out. No, White lives matter doesn't no, mean that black lives don't matter. Yes. Right, that's, that's the thing. What that, we, that, yeah. that's, that's the, the conversation. conversation. That's, the conversation. Yeah. that's the conversation. That's what we need you to say, yeah? yeah. That's the conversation. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> that's what we need. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, congratulations. Like, no. Kanye West saying white lives matter doesn't mean black lives don't matter. No, it like reverse that because it does. It quite literally does. Because they started off by saying that Black Lives Matter means white lives don't matter. Yeah, to say because you know why? Let me tell you why. And and I did see Candy always um shit. And when she says Black Lives Matter organization. Separated from the organization. But let's just be clear. That's like saying, you know. The Catholic uh, Church don't love Jesus or something. The Catholic Church did shit bad. Or yeah, Wu Tang. Like, niggas did something bad. Or Wu Tang. But let me say something. Wu Tang 
It's for the children. It's for the children? It's forever. Wu Chang is for the children. It's for the children. Come on, Wu Chang. Who can even. I don't give a fuck if Devon or whatever, whatever is for anybody else. But guess what? Wu Chang is still for the children. And that's what I want to. Fuck Black Lives Matter. Don't say that. Don't say that. You can care. This is even more fucking sad. Yeah, it's somehow sadder that they try to get him to say something. And he didn't really even say it. And like it didn't even work out. And they just, they got so excited. He talks about Jews a few seconds after this. Stop. No, he did not. Cancel. And you cancel no, by the no, Jewish no. media. No. Say, Fuck like oh my God. That's just, that's mental, that's mental illness. I, I just, I don't. I, I don't know. That, he's broken, dude. He, he's just, his brain is so broken. Like that's crazy that that he just he just tied it back again. Everybody else, but guess what? Wu Tang is still for the children, and that's what I want to fuck. Black Lives Matter. Uh, meaning, Don't say that. Don't say that. You can cancel. You can cancel no, no, by the no, Jewish no. media. No, say, fuck Black Lives Matter. No, when I say that, when I say that, when I say yeah. what I mean is yeah. Black Lives Matter is an organization, but as a movement, as a as as a as statement, people, as a statement, it matters. That's crazy. Damn, Nora had the right intentions in this clip, but he likes the skills or intelligence articulators thoughts to Kanye correctly. This is West Sub ever, by the way. This is the most dick riding. This is the most dick riding Kanye sub out there, right? This is like the one that ha has still been defending him. Really don't like how Ye was so quick to bring up Jewish people again, bruh. I'm Jewish. Shit's kind of funny to me, to be honest, because I, I see where he's coming from, but he's articulating it all wrong. Oh, my God. You spitting, bro. They won't like this one. I don't think he's being anti-Semitic at all. I think he's trying to say that there's a problem with certain media conglomerates being owned by Jews for decades and the way they go about their business, which sure sounds fucked up when you say it, but he's not the first to say it, and he won't be the last. Yeah, Jewish man. I'm Jewish, by the way. Uh, he's not the first to say it, you know, there were some other groups of people around like the early, uh, 1900s that said it a lot actually. And they had like a, they had like a 10, 20 year run. <laughs> 221 upvotes, dude. What is happening? Edit. I didn't know he was saying stuff about the Jews in his new interview and didn't know he was following that whole conspiracy. I guess it goes deeper than I thought. His initial tweets and comments didn't seem like anti-Semitism to me. But in that new interview, he kind of goes off on some weird shit. Oh. I think he's also presenting an issue that 99% of the world has no clue about. Common people like us don't know how Jewish people are running their media conglomerates. So why the fuck would we care or have the ability to agree with him?
Most people are upset when you read the headlines and tweets, etc. I don't think Kanye is anti-Semitic. <laughs> Common people like us know there is no secret Jewish meetings between all these businesses. Them being Jewish doesn't matter yet. Kanye is acting like there's a monthly meetup or something. Yeah. I didn't agree with you earlier, but seeing how quickly the fucking spread of anti-Semitism in these comments, man, anti-Semitism is the most popular fucking form of conspiracy theory. It's been around for way too long for it not to get fucking spread so quickly when you have like, when you give it a moment of, 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 uh, air, you know what I mean? That's what it is. It's like wildfire. That's been the case in perpetuity. What is this? I fucking love TikTok, dude. By the way, it's so stupid. <laughs> fucking Austin Ox, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Explain? Hassan the Hog Whisperer. And you're hooking I'm over here thinking like, how is this going to tie back to the Jews, okay? Back to the cloud. This is craziness. It's just hard for me because so much of what you're saying, like I've- They've gone for far too long. They've gone for far too long without mentioning Jewish people. It, like, it's got to happen. Never heard point. of before. And it goes against like a lot of the things that I've been Wait, told are true. You have been lied to for so much. And then you can kind of get into something else, which I accidentally stumbled upon, which was, were there gas chambers in Nazi Germany? And ah! did six million people die in Nazi Germany? Yes. Ah! Well, that's a great answer. But ah! it's the wrong answer. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Every conspiracy theory ultimately has to revolve around Jewish people. Always and forever.